Bang, bang. Proceed. All right. Oh, I got to add the Zoom link here. I'm sorry, we're a few minutes late. I was searching everywhere for that file and seeing if I could find out what the lesson plan was. Could have just went back to the last post and did that. That's live. Uh, share screen. Well, sorry. I can't have chips near me. So annoying. Uh, do this. First off, how's everybody doing? Good. Fantastic. What up, Beats? Great. All right. Good to see everybody. Love doing this group. Love to see all the familiar faces. Um, so, yeah, let's get in here, get better. Uh, so, first off, maybe researching and making sure we have our chip EV three bat ranges down. Now, this stuff looks simple, but always refreshing it. Um, like looking at these charts will be very quick. Um, and glancing through them before we get in a trainer, start calling on people. Right. And then once we see what our three bet range is and we follow through with the three bet, we're going to get into training post flop, train pre flop, train post flop, and then ICM adjusted ranges. Why is this basic function taking forever? Remember to close all poker rooms before use. Oh, they do so, that so that you can't cheat since all that good luck came out. Thank God. But yeah, oh, since there's going to be a delay and it's going to seem like it's laggy. Since Odin came out trying to be a dick. I think it was Odin, right? He said, oh, after this, we're taking off delay since nobody's using delay. Yeah, since GTO Wizard doesn't use delay, basically Odin re removed their delay. So they won't do it until GTO Wizard does it. Well, this is pretty quick. I mean, this is pretty instant, but nonetheless. Um, so what we're looking at here, we'll start at... 60, I mean, we can look at some of the later stuff. Um, then it turns into me lecturing too long and we're looking at too many spots. It gets kind of boring. So we're just going to kind of glance because um, I think it's kind of applicable to go from maybe 60 to 30 really quick and trying to see some of the trends we see here versus button in the big line. Um, I find that maybe this range is people are calling too many of these hands in the middle and it feels really comfortable. Uh, to just call here um, with 9-8 suited, 9-7 suited, 10-8 suited, 9-10 jack-8. But these hands are very high frequency c -bets. This shit is pure. Uh, down here, some of our suited 8, 7, 6s are uh, the lower varieties. So we should be pretty aggressive. Our size is 4x. Um, here, then you have the strong linear portion as well, your suited connectors, and then mixing uh, with your offsuit ace x and king x in the lower variety um we're just going to see once we get in these spots we're going to play these spots post flop so and then we're going to drill this uh not much changing here between the button and cutoff you're using uh, a few more suited aces uh versus the cutoff range not as many suited sixes more suited eights and nines not using suited sixes or fives suited eights and nines. So the range is a little bit stronger. No more dog shit kings. Uh, ace five still in there. Suited nine, suited aces. Fewer bad hands here. Suited connectors, I don't feel like uh, these are utilized at the correct frequency. Uh, people should be three betting these even from mid and early position. Um, at the stack depth, uh, I don't think people do this enough. If you have a low percentage, a three bet percentage, and you're in a seven, six percent, seven, eight percent, uh, you can mix in more of this kind of stuff, right? When do the suited connectors drop out around 40? Yeah, around 40. And uh, yeah, it's like if we go even deeper, it's just going to stay consistent from 60 plus, and it's just not being done. Uh, we get here, this is low jack, and we're still mixing. Uh, four or five suited plus. We still have eight, our suited ace X here. I feel like these hands are just easy flicks for a lot of people, not mixing. I'm guilty of not taking this a six three bet ever, uh, really myself, mixing these. Let's see, we are versus MP at 60, and we are still using uh, these suited connectors at a frequency, suited nines and tens, jacks, much stronger range. Let's see EP. Is it still there? There's still three betting. So um, mixing in your suited connector 60 plus is going to be good. Here's uh, versus 80. At 80 versus EP, 
look at this. It's even more higher frequency. Um, and then at a hundred, like versus a single open, just get nasty, mix in these three bets. Uh, let's go back to what we were working on though. We'll go 40, because we are gonna drill this. Um, and I'm gonna be calling on you guys. So pay attention in class. Uh, versus big blind. Now, this is cool. Uh, we are just ripping it with twos through eights versus uh button open. Like I, I don't think, I don't think people get uncomfortable shoving this this many BBs. Uh, ace deuce O oh, mixing in about what is that? Twenty seven percent of the time. King seven suited. I'd miss this every time as well. Ace jack, ace queen, pretty good, pretty easy. Um, what else? We're not using uh these this region anymore at uh forty big blinds. We're just going to be calling a lot of our suited hands and then using some of our rag ass, ace X and king X and queen X. Somebody have a question? Okay. Um, nope. nope. Yeah. Here at uh, versus the cutoff, though, we do not use twos through eights and we're just specifically using our ace queen eights. Um, three betting sevens plus. I feel like people have a hard time using this as a three bet because they don't want to be called. They have to play this out of position. So they'd rather find a jam or just a flat and never a three bet. Um, nines plus pretty easy. Uh, offsuit, king X, queen X um, with an eight plus or eight to nine X uh, blocking. So this is good to use. Don't find these, that enough. These middling pairs become more flats when the opener is from earlier position, right? Oh, yeah. We'll see that as well. Like, here's here's hijack, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, no more. No, hijack. Yeah, that was just a cutoff there. We uh, three bet sevens plus. I feel like people just use eights plus in that spot. I yeah. might be guilty uh, of that sometimes as well. Me too. Um. Yeah, so... Always feels kind of fuzzy in game if you can't remember the bottom of your three bet range for your pairs. This H jam feels pretty easy. Nines feels like an easy jam. Um, might be guilty of ripping Ace King too much and off in the spot too much. Um, well, here's the hijack. Yeah. So yeah, we were talking about this in the hijack. Uh, Forty. No more rips uh, when we get to the hijack. Those are reserved for the cutoff and the button. Uh, now we're just three betting. One one thing that I find interesting with PFA versus like GTO Wizard mm -hmm. is from the hijack at forty, you have two different uh, bet sizes. So you're going bigger with nines, tens, jacks, queens, ace, king off, ace, queen off, right, king, jack suited, rather than just doing the four x. You're actually they're doing it like seven point five x for those hands. That, oh, so it is using a much bigger yeah, size. It's, so yeah, so it's using two different sizes based on the, the hands. Right. Hmm. That'd be what, even What a program's bit. doing that? GTO, GTO Wizard. Wizard is. I think the game is like King the Eights. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. Let's just stay on track. But yeah, we'll see that. We'll probably see that because we're going to drill our post-flop spots um, in this configuration there. So we'll do that. Um Low jack, just using suited eights, uh, flatting the suited nines. Like you got to put in a decent amount of work to just remember these bubbles here and get in, like make sure you're hitting these frequencies because they jump, right? Here's MP. Like we're not messing around much versus MP with 7%. Uh, using these about a quarter of the time. King nine suited are primary, king six. And then it's just going to be just pretty tight. Probably flat to king nine and king 10 too much myself. Never find the six five at 40. And it still has these in here a little bit, guys. Like, that's funny, right? It still has four, five, six, five, seven, uh, six, seven, seven, eight. And then let's get down to the fun stack. Uh, 25 is going to be a shitload of jamming. But 30 is going to be fun to look at because uh, I feel like 25 and 30 in tournaments, we see this a shitload, right? Um, so now we are shoving twos through nines, mixing ace, deuce, four and five, ace, 10 off plus, 
This King Seven Island is pretty cool. Three betting Ace Ten suited plus for value. Um, and then finding uh, some partial frequencies with your offsuit King X, Queen X, Ace X. Not doing it as much with these middling uh, connectors, two and three gappers, and just calling. I mean, now versus cutoff, you still get to go at 30 versus with pretty much make a decision, game time decision with twos plus, twos through tens. Oh, let me see what the other ASEX. Yeah, it's still, still pretty kind of consistent at 30. Now we're just mixing this stuff in a little bit. Our sizing is 3.5. Hijack, still mixing these pairs as three bets, not as uh, not calling every single time like people tend to do. Not really mixing bluffs with your suited hands. Ace, Jack, suited plus versus hijack, low jack. I wonder one thing uh, on the, mm -hmm. on the um, with the solver. Like you shove ten to seven, you shove three, but you don't shove six, five, four. <laughs> I have our time. Is it because you try to uh, to be uh, polarized, or it's gonna have to do with blocker effect for the most part? And you're never gonna be able to implement this exactly in game, right? So it's like you're probably good enough no. taking out the jams with threes, making your sevens pure jam, and making your threes pure call, and go from there. Yeah, I think this will just show you that when you're the way I I like visualize this and and in some of these partial frequencies, knowing that uh, giving the circumstances of whatever situation I'm in, if I can make the determination at this stage in a tournament versus this opponent type at this table, I think I need to jam for it to me be more profitable. Um, I'm having a hard time making chips. Uh, this player is aggressive um distribution doesn't seem to favor me uh i want to play more of a high variance style i'm probably going to be just ripping a shitload but if it's a bigger tournament i'm making chips pretty easy 40 is a pretty nice effective stack um and things like that i probably tend to find a little bit more call uh down here if that makes sense but knowing that you're not going to be making a mistake you're not going to be making a drastic mistake whatever option you take between jamming or calling right so that's the way I just see this. Like, if I do decide to jam and get called, like, ah, fuck. Probably wasn't that bad anyway. Um, so that was a long-winded <laughs> way to say, I think uh, the way it's just de deciding this is like blockers versus this range, uh, his opening range here. And then uh, shoving these pairs isn't going to have too, isn't going to be too negative EV. Now you're only jamming eights, nines, tens, jacks, three betting. Uh, this ace four jam versus low jack is pretty boss. Man, never ever, but uh, it's pretty boss. Feels like a punt when you do it. Mm -hmm. It feels like a nuclear punt. <laughs> Just, but I mean, yeah, it's again, apparently it's not bad. I would tend to do this more with ace five off if i didn't know any better and i knew we were mixing i'd probably just take this a little bit more but um and then we're just pretty tight uh still at seven percent between all in and raising so if somebody shove on you uh, on bb with the <laughs> it's where you're your doing to g it is yes tens for sure <laughs> yeah like, tens yeah you open an ep and a bb jam zone just like tens ace king you know, or ace four if they're boss. Um, but yeah, I mean, the EP ranges aren't as, we're not going to be three betting as much. What I really want to focus on is more here, finding this stuff. I think uh, too many of us, myself included, don't find this stuff. Or when I do start studying, I'm doing it 50% of the time. <laughs> you know, I'm doing it maybe, maybe too often. Um, but I think uh, working on... Um, these stack steps and getting in here with these ranges because in tournaments we're just going to be here so often um and if you can get really good at this stack find these jams surviving longer in tournaments um having deep bigger stacks and going deeper um now we'll just quickly look at 25 we'll drill it once we get into our three bet spots our non-three bet all-in spots we'll start playing those post-flop 
uh button ripping the shit out of everything twos through jacks some suited kings i'll probably go a little bit overboard with some of these offsuit a sex but two four five nine plus and you'll see when we're um when we do look at an icm range just 25 big blind we jam a lot um cool twos through jacks here again um pretty similar characteristics just a little bit tighter we're at 13 there yeah it's considered like four it's like considerably tighter there from a percentage stand uh, standpoint you're seeing here uh take your pairs and run them versus late position a lot of taking your pairs and running them i mean can't be it can't be that bad old school toe taught me this Take a pair and run it. Hard to make a pair and hold them. Uh, not using five, sixes, and sevens as much versus MP. It's interesting how it drastically changes so much between like cutoff and high jack, cutoff and low jack. Yeah, cutoff range, two pips earlier, tighter range. Here, here's the low jacks opening range here. Yeah, it's considerable. I mean, it's they're opening 10% more lighter. hands. Yeah. Huh? and the low jacks opening 10 percent fewer hands how does that equate to our range yeah. oh, shit. Take that. well if, if you uh, watch uh, your opening range on cutoff and bottom uh, compared to high jack and low jack you see you you drop drastic uh, your number of n you're gonna play yeah massive we're at uh, all in 13%, raising 5%, 100, like 200 and something combos. We go here to the low jack. I mean, it is significantly tighter, right? But you still have your pairs in here. Um, still going to be defending and calling uh, at a pretty reasonable clip. We're only folding 23% of the time. We just do a lot more calling. Folding 25, still folding a little bit more, folding about a quarter of the deck. All in almost 5%. It's not a lot. And then versus EP. What is our EP bluff here? Ace four, ace five. No more of those weird suited king eight, king seven you were seeing versus uh low jack, uh hijack. No, is this cutoff? Yeah, cutoff king eight. EP, you're playing pretty true. And then just imagine on a money bubble and things like that. Um, let's quickly drill a few of these <laughs> situations. Bless you. Yeah. Um, do this. Train our brains. Um, maybe, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, it's an asymmetric because the world, it's not easy. All right, so we just looked at all the charts, and you're going to run a thing that doesn't have any of those charts. It's going to be close enough because the the, the world doesn't work like that, does it? Does poker give no. you exactly what you want? Are you going to be able to sit down at every – outside of the first few hands of the tournament, the beginning of the tournament, it's not going to be 40 big blinds effective around the table. It's never going to be easy. But uh, you have a glimpse in how you should proceed. And it's still going to be relatively close. Your effective stack is just going to change based on theirs, right? So let's do it. Uh, I'm not going to make it easy on you. You know this, Joey. Uh, opponent's position. I want to focus on more late position for now. Make sure we're achieving. Cut off hijack, low jack. Uh, hijack, yeah. Um, yeah. It, it's going to be close enough. Joey, get in here. You want to be the first one to complain? You get in. All right, well, this is a fold. Yeah, it's easy as hell. All right, yeah, it might be a fold. So uh, what are you jamming? Uh, what pairs are you jamming from here at 20? I think I'm going to small with maybe jacks are better. Okay. 
Jam the rest. And jam twos through tens, jacks plus, tens probably mixed. What about your offsuit asex versus cutoff? You guys should be thinking about this stuff on your own as well and trying to quiz yourself mentally. I think it'll help. I think <clears throat> offsuit will have sh some frequency of shoving with almost all of them. I think maybe around ace 10. Look at this. Shoving everything. No small bet with kings, queen, jacks plus when you are 20 effective. Just a rip. Your only small three bet is really only fucking aces. It's 1%. It's like 1%. Aces is your only pure small three bet. The more you know. Why do I keep giving you easy ones? Put them in a cage. Now, what are you doing here at 16? Effective. <laughs> hmm. And seven. This is this is in that grouping that sometimes raises. So you're gonna mix raise here? No, I think I'm mostly shoving when I do raise. Um I think I would call with this. All right. I don't think this is ever in one million years a raise, right? Isn't this going to be a hundred oh, percent? Yeah, I would tall. never, ever raise this. You have no you have and no it's... three bet range other than maybe a sliver of aces. And I would say, yeah, all yeah. your races are going to be jams. Well, jams, and I mean, yeah, and they want to be pairs. and some Yeah, well, aces said, and all the raises are going to be all in. I know you scared me when you said uh, about something about raising this at first. That's all. Yeah, well, I mean, well, king nine's in there. And then you got queen jack. I like this. This is good. Uh, ace five. Oh, this is barely in there. I should have established what I thought your bottom of your range was, but that's okay. Mama mia. Woo! What are you doing here? All right, so hijack. Give yourself 30 seconds. 20%. No, I'll ask you some questions. It's fine. Um... I think this is borderline. This might be the bottom. Bottom call? You go, you're going to call? Yeah, it's either this or ace 10. Okay. What about yeah. your suited aces? Ace 8, ace 7 ish. Um, ace 8, ace 7. I need some firm answers because when you're in game, you're going to have to hit that call button or fold button. You have to hit the button either way. Which button would you hit in, for the bottom? Which is the worst thing you're going to call with? Ace-8 suited. Ace-8 suited. Ace-10 off is what I heard, or Ace-9 off. Yeah. I think Ace-10 off, Ace-8 suited. Pairs. Sixes. How did he do? Beats, what do you think? Oh, I was just typing it in. I'm thinking it's probably close to fours plus, ace nine off, ace five suited plus, and suited tens. All right. Ace ten off, ace nine suited, and sevens plus. Ace jack off, ace ten suited, and fours plus. Damn, these are these are big differences. Pretty big differences. Yeah, those are big ass differences. All right, so you're folding this. Ace five suited plus ace ten off plus fours plus king ten. Not all the suited oh. ten beats, just king ten. Yeah, see, I figured queen queen ten and queen jack would have been in there. Yeah, so jack ten, ten was the one that I would have left out. So whoever said sevens plus was too tight, threes is a little bit too much. Fours plus ace ten off plus ace five suited plus king ten suited. I might oof, this would be. I might call this ace not too much. I'm, I'm sick of Yeah, that. I think I probably call it. I'm I sick. probably am about 50 50. If yeah, he's not. in a cutoff, I called a cutoff jam like this literally last night, and I couldn't. You have to in the cutoff. All right. Um, what is this jamming jamming range here as well? This would be good to see. What did you open? I ripping. estimated him at about 20%. 
18 BB jam for Chip EV here. Fuck me. Sorry, if I'm a language. That's how. Oh, uh, oh shit. Yeah, he's I might not have to make before. a quick phone call. Okay, that's why we're not calling Queen Jack and Queen Ten. Okay. Yeah. But seeing right. this, I could see why the suited aces go further down than I thought. Yeah. Yep. Yep. All right. Because it, it's not shoving the top of the range, so it makes the. All right. Um, seven four. I think this is a fold. Bottom of your offsuit defending range. Are you calling seven five? Are you calling suited two gappers? Offsuit two gappers. Mm, not below six. I think sevens might be the bottom. Yep, these are in there. Six, four, five, three is oh. even in there for one big bar. So we don't want to be too tight. It feels easy. I mean, some people are advocating, I mean, folding this shit. It's still a little. Oh, man. This is just chip EVI. I mean, once we get into the month, once we get to any kind of ICM consideration type spots, maybe some of this shit can fall off, but man, I mean, yeah, I get I get the kings and queens. Yeah. I'm surprised ace king, ace queen, and ace jack suited are shoving as much as they were. Yeah, but it was 18 effective. Yeah. Yeah. At a position like GG. Uh 18 effective again. There's only one move. We looked at this before. Shove the chips in his face. What is your jamming range again? This is hijack open. All right, this was the one where kings and below were were jamming. Aces okay. had a, aces had a partial. Um, ace king, ace queen, ace jack, ace ten were jamming. Um. Some of the middle suited aces were jamming at some frequency. Okay. And then there were the lower suited aces were shoving. Four, five, three, deuce. Yep. We're only, I mean, I, I thought ace nine off might have been in there for some reason. My brain was thinking nah. this might be in there, but it's too, it's way too weak. So ace 10 off plus, ace five. Oh, which is a nice little bucket to find. It's really hard. And then these. I wasn't sure about the suited kings. Yeah, they just realized too. You keep in, uh, keep in worse. They play too well, and when you when they do call, they call it an ace x and your shit on. So, whoa. And this is a cutoff jamming range. Last one here, Joey. Then we'll get someone else in here. We'll do 15 hands. What are you thinking? Well, I'm I'm pretty sure I'm folding this, but I'm trying to think up my answers for the rest of your questions. I think sevens plus ace 10 is going to be borderline. And something like A6 suited is going to be the border. Thank you. You guys know the questions are coming. You know I'm going to ask you the entire range. When you get in the spot, don't just think about the hand you have. You should be exploring all the options. So guess what? You become a fucking machine in these spots. And it all becomes easy. Because you've looked at it. You've thought about it every single time. Not with just this one hand when you study and you start to be able to envision the entire calling range every single time. And not just think, lazily clicking a button. I'm going to fold this one. What's the next one? I'm going to call this one. What's the next one? No, you have to use your brain and let's think about the entire range every time. I think this one suited calls. King Jack suited might be in there. King Queen off? Mm -hmm. What are you doing with King Queen off? King Queen off, that's... 
<laughs> I think that's a coin flip. <laughs> that is uh, it, so it might is... make some calls. I okay. He... It's a 50-50. I was going to say, on the suited side, I think this is kind of one of those weird things where it's king-queen suited calls, king-ten suited calls, the king-jack suited folds. Yep. Ace-ten off plus ace-five. Ace-eight ace, plus. Seven ace suited. seven, ace eight, suited plus, and then fives plus fives plus plus some of your suited queen, queen, one gaffers, ten queen. nine. Those are suited never jack ten, queen jack. Never folding. I mean, those are never calling. Ten eight suited, nine seven suited possible. No, nope, never in a million years. Are you out of your mind? This is twenty two big, sir. Never ever. I thought this would be a 50 50 king jack oh. suited ace eight off. You made me want to go tighter here, beats. Set ace five, and I was like, ah, and, how much is this printing? It's printing a lot, too. Yeah, I yeah, missed the bottom three pairs in ace nine, ace eight. Yeah, I said five, fives plus. I missed the bottom two pairs. This, this. So, yeah, this is why it's good to see this. Um, You see it a few times. I always be thinking about our entire range. When I call in you next, I want you to think about your entire range from start to finish, speed run the shit and get stronger thank you joey that was awesome man well done thank you uh jellyfish you know i like to call on you come on cletus get in here all right you know what time it is i'm calling uh like jack four jack five under that i'm folding Okay. Um, I guess jamming back here. Um, ace six suited. Ace nine off. Uh, king ten suited plus. Okay. And my pairs. Uh, probably threes plus, fours plus. Damn, you're a savage ass range. You guys hear that? This man is savage with the range. Well, that's the range I think we're supposed to be playing, yeah. but mine's a lot tighter. <laughs> yeah. I like the pairs jams. Uh, and then, like, this, <laughs> you're, like, jamming A6 suited plus. It's like, <laughs> you're just giving them hell. And then uh, mixing these, these are really hard to find. And then a lot of our suited aces are still just going to want to call at, what is this, 23 effective. Um, you found the A6. Pairs. Time to go hard with the pairs. King, queen off in there, which is kind of hard to find. But uh, if you do just find the calling game, uh, your EV is going to be fine just calling. So not a mistake. Woo! 12 big calling range here. Start with uh, the pairs. I think uh, queen 10 suited would be the bottom for me at least. Okay. So king queen eight, I'd be folding. So what about the what about your pairs? Uh, all the pairs. All the pairs. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. From, off, from a button jam, twelve bigs. Yeah. Offsuit, offsuit, asex. Uh, for me, it'd be ace ten, ace nine. Probably ace way too tight. Probably, probably way too tight though. As your, the words are coming out of his mouth, and then he folds them, follows it up, knowing damn well it's too tight. Okay, how about your suited aces? Uh, <laughs> I think all the suited aces should be in there. You see the big disparity between your range there? <clears throat> yeah. You have like ace nine, ace ten off, then all the suited ones, and then all the pairs. How about okay? How about this? Uh, how about your king X? It's no, it's it costs us nothing to be wrong. I'm always just joking with you, Jelly. We go uh, no, no, I know, I know. Yeah. Uh, I say king ten off suit plus. King ten off plus. Okay. And then. It's five off base two suited two plus king, king, king nine or king eight suited might be in there too. Damn, setup's calling king dude. Some of you guys I'm, are super loose. Hold this. King deuce is too loose. Every single, every single ace, every single pair. King nine all plus. I missed this king nine. And then uh, king ten is pretty easy. The queen ten feels pretty iffy. Um, queen nine suited plus, king seven suited plus. Who had it the closest? Anybody say king nine 
off. If you, somebody said King Nine off, you're a legend. Some people saying King Queen off, just too tight. Sedabs had King Ten. Yeah, Sedabs had King but Ten. Was way the too loose on the King suited kings. <laughs> yeah, I see that. It's like this dude is nasty. He called Kip Queen uh, Queen Nine. So Sedabs, I like it. No wrong with that. All right, Queen Jack. Oh, and this time we have a stack. Damn, we just kind of saw something like this, but it was for 12. Now it's 18. I love that they're giving you these spots because uh, this stuff happens for sure. Um, I'm folding this hand. Okay. Um, I'm sure I'll be way too tight again. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking eight, ace nine off plus... Um, Ace eight, ace seven suited, but I, I mean personally, that's probably ace nine suited for me. Um, fours plus, and okay. I think we, I think we can get some of that king queen in there too. Okay, what's the worst suited king you call with? Uh, king, king jack. My dude, yeah, fifty four bigs versus an all in. I just. You got to be looser, man. You got to be more willing to call these jams. Got to be looser. Uh, ace six off plus, ace four suited plus, threes plus, king ten suited plus, queen ten suited, king jack. Jack ten's not calling beats. Sorry. that's That one's off. Uh, ace five off, twos plus, all ace x, all suited broadways. Joey says, ace five off, ace two suited plus, set abs, twos plus, King nine suited plus King 10. Ooh. Oh, Jack 10 suited. I thought you was like Jack 10 off. You know that's not calling. So this folds. Ace three suited. Ace five off. All the suited tens. King Jack O twos plus. So I, I need you to be a little bit more aggressive with your, with your ace X, man. You're folding ace X insanely too tight, my friend. Uh, you're, you're just going to make so much more money. Um being more willing to call these late position jams uh, because their jamming range, especially when they're like 15 and under uh, online and stuff, they're just going to be wide enough. And this jamming range, look at this. I mean, I think people might make the mistake and just jam wider than this in some instances. So crushing it. Two more hands. We haven't got like fun spots where we get to like three bet any of that range. So we might mix it up after this one. Uh, they keep giving I mean, us this one, but I mean, I guess it's same literally, the, literally the same situation. Yeah, yeah, just different suits. No, it's literally the same. Right? Like yeah, it was just, an 18 big blind jam from the button the last time. Oh, they're not going to let me cheat? Yeah. Oh, it's, it, well, the, the, his range is different this time. It is different. Why is it? Is this, he had 18 bigs in the... Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I want to see it. I, but I don't know if the, this stack was different. But yeah. Yeah, it could be that the small blind stack was different. Yeah. Because yeah, I'm, I'm like... <laughs> no, Jelly needs this. I need Jelly yeah. to answer this, even though because... Of the three hands where he's called out his range, three times it's been too tight with a specific portion of his range. And we're going to do these until he gets right. We could be here a while. <laughs> we could be here a while. It's fine. Fuck it. <laughs> Me too. I can be here all day. Uh, this uh, Queen 9, I'm folding suited. Uh, queen 10 suited. Plus, I'm calling. Suited 10s. Um, you can say, say you're calling your suited 10s, right? Yeah. You call Queen 10 suited. You, that implies King 10 suited and Ace 10 suited. It's called. So that's good. And then uh, all my ace suited. All the suited aces. Okay, we're getting somewhere. And then oh, ace five, ace six off. Hey, look at you getting a little lower. Okay. How about the pairs? Uh, it's probably going to be all of them. Hey, we're getting somewhere today. If not, it's close uh enough. Just click it. <laughs> I mean, has Jelly ever called this spot with ace two suited ever? <laughs> mm. But he will now, dude. Mm -hmm. this, he will this now. Is I'll give him that much credit. Uh, is anybody out there calling this suit at nine? Nope. Nope. 
We all know better. And there it is. Yeah. It, it. You got it right. You nailed it at the buzzer. It took you five hands of talking about the range and being told every time. And then you get it at the last one. That's how life works. You're going to get it. You love it. Ace do suit it plus, ace five off plus all the pairs. King Jack O suited tens. Jack 10 suited in here this time, Beats. Yeah, no, that's no, it was last there. time I had accidentally said Jack 10 off, but I meant yeah. Jack 10 suited. I, I feel you. Yep. Um, I, think I probably overcall Queen. I mean, I probably mix in some Queen Jack off calls here. <laughs> so that's probably that's it, the one spot where I'm probably a little bit too loose there. Well, it's not losing EV, even though it's just not like one right. of the better calls. Like these are still printing a, a little bit, you know. Uh, King 10 off. So I'm going to change this up and see if we can get. Look at you guys. Holy smokes. Well done. Out there crushing it. Um, oh, the hand before. Wait a minute. Why? Oh, I see what's going on because I have that too big. Where's that? Uh, it's Where's the, the Queen Jack. Head? Queen Jack down second from the bottom. Oh, small 32. Head, 32 bigs. Yeah, That's so the difference. Uh, yeah, that was the difference. Um, cool. I'm gonna go back to the trainer, and then we are going to try the symmetrical. I just want to do some deeper stuff. Hmm. 30 plus versus RFI. Call on two more people, do this spot. Then we're gonna go to post flop. Then we're I see majestic ranges. So we're getting there more uh just late position. Um mm, no, that's good. Um hello. Oh piss. I have to reset it or something. It wasn't even like letting me click that for some reason. Put in it all back in. How's the grind been going for everybody? You guys been doing well? Anybody on a heater? Downers, how's it been? So uh, break even. <laughs> That's almost like winning in poker. <laughs> that's almost you're, you're pretty much crushing if it. you're breaking even you're halfway there <laughs> yeah <laughs> really dude like you're almost yeah there's a lot of people getting wrecked out there so that's good i play pk so i mostly won my my buy-in with my knockouts <laughs> hey Oh, hero's position. Oh, that's what I messed up. Maybe that's what it was messed up. Break even is always, I got to play more than 10 tourneys a week. Nice. I've been feeling pretty good, but poker is a very hard game. Uh, ooh, who do we have out here? Who do we want to? Mm. BP Solwa, you want to get in here? You want to try some uh, tournament stuff or just uh, observing? Played a live MTT last night and left after getting four bounties to free roll. We take those, you love to see it. Um, BP not here. Anna, you want to try to get in here and do a few hands? If you're interested. Observing, all right, Molten Ashes. It's no problem. How you doing, That's my fine. dude? Savage Ashes hey, in the house. <laughs> yeah. Good to see you, man. Good to see you as well. Uh, you interested in getting here and running a few? Yeah, I am. All right, sweet. Um, Starting off. Now, this is going to be different. We're all symmetrical. Um, so okay. it's going to be pretty more straightforward here um, with some of our decisions. So six, seven, you can kind of uh, describe which, which, which you would be three betting here at 40, uh, which your range kind of looks like here. Okay, so um, it's 
I think it's going to be maybe about 10% with a lot of the Austin teens and Queens. Okay. Um, it's going to be maybe like 50% with the suited eights. So Jack eight suited, 10, eight suited, queen eight suited around that range. Um, trying to think of jams. Um, I know there was a bubble of keen seven suited at jams here, but I don't know if that's only button. It could be maybe like 50% cut off. I don't remember exactly. Right. Um, and then the off suit aces, um, Forty. What are your two primary shoving the, candidates here? There's two specific hands that shove a shitload here. Maybe three. Who's Jack off and East Queen off? I think. Mm, you're, you got you got one of them. Wait, is it East Jack and East Ten? Pocket eight, East Queen. Oh, pocket eight. Yeah, I forgot about. That. This yeah. pairs, you have pocket eight jams and then like nine three bet small and then seven three bet, seven yeah. three bet, and then six. You got a pretty good memory. I mean, a lot of the things you're saying are right, except for we're not using that bubble eight and po- ace queen off. Like, this is burnt. Like, every time I see this, I'm like, oh, easy as hell, jam. Um, yeah, some partial frequencies. If it's easier for you, like, you know, you have some offsuit kings and you don't know the exact frequency that you're going to be mixing when you get these lower ones if you wanted to say something like eh, maybe i want to use them five or ten percent of the time and roll for it i don't think that could be too horrible a strategy we want to use more offsuit ace eight a seven ace five um some of the eight x and nine x a little bit more um here but yeah i mean pretty good overall for sure sevens you got that one uh three betting and our size is four x as well um not much messing around, as you can see. Yeah, and those that that uh, that suited stuff you were thinking about with the suited eights and stuff like that, that's reserved for 60 big lines. I see. I Plus, see. Oh, yeah, because at 40, plus. you don't want to use those to get three bet and get four bet off your equity. That makes sense. Yep. Uh, speaking of which, I think this is flat. Yeah, flat's at 30. A flat? Um, I think this... Yes, because okay. like I said, we're two. If we this isn't a hand that we want to run it three bet and then get jammed on for sure. So, I think, uh, just explain it real quick. I think a ton of our suited region is it will find flats. Maybe you have some outliers when we like with King Nine and uh, occasionally stuff like that. As we get a little bit shorter, we might be three bet jamming. Your three bet jam range is going to be like your pairs your value hands, and then some offsuit shit occasionally. So we determine when we get here with that region, what are the offsuit frequencies look like and where, do the, where are they concentrated, right? So this is a call. There's that one. I thought it was King Nines. That Here's a King Seven you were talking about, your pairs. And then you focus on like this little region, getting that in more and knowing like, okay, Ace 10 off plus, getting some of this in. But all right, Jelly. Now you got your uh, sixty big blind stack to a button open. Okay. Are you using this? I think it's. I'm trying to think. Um, I don't know if this mixes or not. I don't think this is a pure three bet. Um, okay. As for what I want a three bet with, I want a three bet more. Like it's the just the I want to be a bit more the like the ten seven suited, the jack eight suited, the ten eight suited, that range. Okay. Over the suited aces. But I still think these mix at some frequency. Mix at some frequency. I'm so I, I won't go specifically of how I randomize, but I think this time I'm going to three bet to nine point six. I mean, I'm a, two four x four x folks. Set S has raised to nine point seven here. Um, you're going to be using suited eight x nine x ten x, and that that's some frequency. That's some frequency at like fifty percent, sixty percent frequency. Uh, what are you doing range. with 
eight nine suited. Uh, eight nine suit. Oh, okay. So what are you doing there? I know the suited connectors. A lot of the six five eight six seven seven six three bet at at sixty bigs, maybe about fifty percent frequency. Nine eight. Yeah, I think might be the hand that flats more. Um, pure. I know Jack ten suited three bets a lot. It's a pure three bet, sir. And I ask you that because uh, I know it's this region. Get your asses in there. This region, it's okay, so Jack ten so suited is the one that flats. Safe. Okay. It feels so safe. But this is very good range. We're gonna have really nice coverage. Um, obviously we're, this is going to like, these kind of boards are really going to be good for a range. And then the middling ones, which traditionally don't look as good. We're going to have a lot of coverage there, uh, on those boards as well. A little tricky. So this is very good. Still going to be opening wide enough to get a ton of folds. Um, and ACE five, uh, suited is not, and you were, you were, you were right on there, man. You were saying maybe we don't want to use these as much, not using as much of your low suited ACEs because we have a density within the suited connectors that we use at this frequency so we don't have to use these as much right and we're not we don't want to get four bet like as much with those yeah. 30 so this obviously this flats but i'm trying to think um of what hands i would jam here i'm jamming very um prone to jamming pairs here i think any pair like you do is like to like just, just jams here as well. Deuces through. Oh, okay, so third effect is maybe deuces to yeah. Deuces to tens. Um <laughs> and then jacks. I'm trying to think if it three bit small or if it jams. Queens plus uh three bit small. Okay. Um I think and when yeah. you say small, what's your size? Um how how deep Maybe three point five x, three point five x. So some like piece. Um, and then for the offsuit aces, I think ace three off, low, uh, like forty percent. Ace five off, forty percent, and then okay, ace eight off plus. Wait, no, is it is ace eight off too loose? No, think yeah, about I think, his, think about his yeah, think about the bottom of his opening range. You're gonna block that. So maybe it's yeah. like jamming ace ten off. Yeah, he's ten off. Like I that. think it's something. See, this is I, I was just trying to make sure you know the bottom of his range is some of these sometimes these off suit eight X and nine X. Um, so we're gonna take ace ten off plus. I like how you uh threw some frequency in here. We don't have to be perfect, but we just need to be aware that we need to do it taking two twos through nines and if you set tens you rip that cool um so very good and then mixing in these like 10 15 percent some of our offsuit kings and queens and things like that so very good uh let's do two more we'll do one more person and then we'll get to some of these post flop spots okay um, so well. i think we'll too shallow to three put this one i think this one flats Okay. And then for three what is bets, your three bet range? Do you have any all ins versus the hijack? Let me think. Uh, high, um, I'm trying to think where we stop jamming and a lot. Mm -hmm. And I think hijack isn't, I think it's low, maybe middle position where we stop jamming. I still think we have very, a couple of hands where we jam here. What would those be? We saw what they were in the cutoff. What do you think they go in the hijack? Um, I still think East Queen off jams. Okay. Some frequency. Some frequency. Okay. Keep it some frequency, jam some frequency. And then is it cutoff was it eights? So this might be nines. Ace queen, sure. ace ten, queen ten suited. Jacks plus six, six plus. Raise all of these, said Ab says. We're going to call this, calling a lot of our suited range. Um, and then it sounds like you're indifferent with a lot in the bottom of your range. I don't want to spend six minutes trying to figure yeah, out a three betting range. But I think this one does mix. Ace wow. queen suited. 
a jack no jams no jams no rips yep because you know what we saw and i wanted to say this before like while you were talking but i didn't want to like steal your thunder but we were still like in the cutoff here was only two hands and it was eight and ace queen which yeah they were more than 50 percent frequency or high frequency but if you're if those are the only two hands you're using there one position over it's gonna be pretty damn tight right we like it was it wasn't even full frequency from here so moving it over one position more a tighter range probably not gonna use it uh but yeah this is a surprising mixed three bet spot uh as well i think i'm over calling here looking at this as well and not three betting this um at all so this is kind of sad to see more using this stuff myself same here i'm using the the blockers at the yeah side i'm like yeah, ace yeah. eight a seven and shit like this and mixing this but never this stuff so it's kind of a mistake um sweet in last hand man so this three bets for value um to uh four x okay so this is the bottom of our three bet or are you using ace nine well, bottom for well? value um i'm am i using ace nine no i'm not using ace nine this is bottom of three bet value um, um pairs sevens plus sevens plus sounds good sevens you, plus sounds good for three bet um suited hands we looked at this before and this is the yes. reason i want us to all improve that so yeah uh, a lot of the the middle density so like nine eight suited eight um ten six suited ten seven suited and um and then eight uh, suited can act as a maybe 50% frequency. So six, five suited, seven, eight suited, five, four suited, even four, five suited plus. Yes, and uh, then... 50%. But like nine, eight suited, nine, seven suited, like three bits pure, I think, or very okay. close to pure. Yeah, this one. So, yep, it's suited. Uh, some of your suited sixes, sevens, eights, and then nine, ten suited. Um, this middle region, like you said. I think the ace 10 suited uh, value three bet can be very appropriate for most of the population. The three bet opens too wide. Still mixing in ace five suited a lot to the button. Uh, little little pieces of this king six, queen six. Uh, but yeah, this this portion of the range. And yeah, four, five suited, five, six. And it's almost like 50%. Nine, 10, eight, nines pure. So uh, very, very good. Um, think maybe I'm thinking maybe we get straight. It's 120. I'm looking at my clock because I still want to do ICM and post log. Let's take a quick break now. We come back because we've done, I mean, we've been doing this for an hour. It feels like pretty basic stuff, but it is never, it's, I mean, we all had different ranges. So always working on the fundamentals, um, and making sure our three bet ranges, are on point so let's take a quick break i'm going to come back um and then we're going to drill some of these spots where we show up with partial frequencies or these uh in in these three bad spots out of position uh when we come back so let's take a break and i'm gonna come away from my back
All right. Let's get this. Wait a minute. I always get okay, there we go. Um any connect oh i was i forgot i was messing with this i was doing this spot last night with but with 30 big blinds oh yeah the 30 the shallower spr it's hard it's hard to sell you check way more than you're supposed to you, you know like you check a lot all right uh ooh, is that be money is that be money out there? You're not allowed to say you're muted or busy. You're not busy. I know you're not. Nope. Get your ass in here. Come on. Oh, piss. All right. No, well, we you're muted. I seen you come, you uh came off of mute, but your mic is GG. Julian, you can do this. But you can't be driving. If you're driving, you can't do it. Are you driving, Julian? Are you here? He's driving. Oh, no. I'm here and I'm not driving. Oh, he's not driving. Hey, let's go. Um, come on, man. You want to hit it? Hit five real quick. Yeah, sure. All right. Um, we've three bet in this spot versus the button range. We're gonna do. You're going to do five at 60, and we're going to look at the 60 results. Somebody else is going to do 50, uh, 40, and then somebody else is going to do 30. And we're going to look at five spots each. Okay. Yep. What size? All right. Let's see. And we three bet and the button called, correct? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. You got we have time banks. Yeah, I'm like I, in game time I'm, banks. I'm gonna be quick. Um <laughs> I would say five five or eleven oh five. So still mixing in some 50% on the paired board. We do have the spade heart combo. Beat says check or 50% set abs is going 75. Set habs always goes big. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be hard as hell to play. Why do you only want to get caught by a jack? We're thinking jack of five. Angry <laughs> queens and tens bet the largest Joey set. All right. Um, you got to give me one. Uh, Julian. okay, I'll go 11 of five, 50 percent. Czechoslovakia or this 75 too big. Uh, quarter is also a thing. You're not going to be making too big of a mistake. I think a lot of people go 25 to 30% on this board as a paired board because they've been told on paired boards you always go small, but they don't study and know that's not always the case for 60 plus and uh, other type of boards. So very good. And we could also look at our bet sizing as a whole. Because I think this is uh, like fewer bets, so we go bigger. Yeah, like look at this. Like they have so many jack x symmetries in hands uh in the in three bet pots uh around this jack x to continue. You're not betting. Look how much we're checking. We are checking 70% of the time. That's a big number. Yeah. That's a gigantic number. Um your ace nine needs protection and wants to bet. Uh, some of your jacks don't mind betting and whatnot, but yeah, let's go back to the hand. Somebody's dog is pissed. Oh, that's one yeah, sorry, sixes. Did this hand bet more when it didn't have a spade? Uh, I think it's about, I think it's about the same. Uh, let me go to uh, for your frequency. There you go. Um, it bets more when it does not have a spade, correct? No, it checks more. Checks I mean, it checks more. Checks more when it does spade. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. It checks more. Okay. Um, sweet. 
Um, spade turn. You have sub pot. What do you do? And you got called when you used to have pot bat in a three bat pot. <laughs> uh, yeah. this is gonna be sweet. Yeah, I would. As much as I hate to, I'd probably check here. Beat says I know what I'm doing. Julian's checking. Beats, what are you doing? What are you guys doing in chat? You can talk. We're on the camera here. Ripping it. All right, he's ripping it. I think check is going to be in there too, but I'm just going to rip it. Molten's I'm just checking. worried with ripping it because he called me already on the half pot bit. <laughs> uh, let's see who's right. Then we'll look at it and uh, see what you follow through rip as a bluff if it's a uh, rip. Oh, you said you're checking, though. Yeah, I'm going to check, yeah. Check or rip. Damn. Ripping more. This yeah. Is, it, dude, it doesn't, nothing gets any better than this. is it. It's yeah, it. it doesn't get any better than this. It literally doesn't get, if you're fucking beat, you're beat. And you have to Because a, a spade comes, you still could be behind. So, I mean. Yeah. You're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. Um, what, do, what does the rest of this range look like? I kind of hate these colors, though. Uh, that's a straight, that's a jack, ace eight with a spade. That's a flush draw with the gut shot, king eight with a spade. That's a flush draw with the gut shot. Same thing with the queen eight, which is a flush draw, gut shot, and over. So you're jamming all these flush draw, gut shot, overs as a bluff. Uh, pocket ten shrugs it in sometimes as well, most of the time, more so than queens. <laughs> Your jacks are running it, and aces without a spade needs the protection and says, if I'm beat, I'm beat. Yeah. That's crazy. The call, on the, the call on the flop doesn't disturb me, um, like you mentioned, because he with a half pot bet, he still has to call 66% of his range. Yeah, but people don't in real life and overfold as well. So that's why it would concern me in real life. Like, man, these guys, he's going to overfold some hands. Um, in this spot but at the same time uh we were checking yeah let's see check. we're fresh hella weight all in ah ha ha now what <laughs> yeah i would call anybody jamming nope it's uh, I, I asked that because it's, it's yeah there, there's nothing I, I was just speechless <laughs> Like it's it's the same thing. The same rule applies on a flop. Like it showed you that it wanted to just get the get the money in half the time. Then now he just gets to check back river when we call. Do we get to play that? Is it just broken when we do this? Yeah, yeah. It, it's because it's a hundred percent. So I know we're fucked. What are you doing here? Yeah, you'd have to check it. It's oh, busted. Yeah. I just want we have to play it busted. Uh, are you folding? Yeah. This is what's yeah. going to happen in real life. You uh -huh. know what I mean? This is what. Yeah. Now we're going to fold. Oh. Call. <laughs> so that's a fold. Ain't no way. I'm not, I'm not folding. We we blocked the flush and we blocked the nut straight. You said fold. Well, we don't get a right answer. I want to see. We're going to see his hand regardless. So yeah, we. It's not going to. Really, we fold. But we get to see his hand. Right. We just this, this is, is this is precisely what will happen to you. This is why it wants you. This is what happens to us in game as well. This don't is why you just jam the turn so you don't have to deal with this. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Um go back to the spot, take a quick look, because I think uh the important part here is realizing on this paired board here. Uh, we, uh, we're checking a lot, and our sizing is half pot. Three bat pots. Uh, let me go back to us. Wait a minute. I want to go back. Here it is. Yeah, I want to go right here. Not big That's blind. Them. Oh, big blind. Yeah, here we go. Yes. Ace high board you go kind of ape shit on. Right now, that's ace medium low. Yeah, ace mid low, but yeah, ace high boards, ace mid low. Uh, and then the say these kind of rules are kind of consistent. And I'm seeing this this in the solver almost every time I study 
Uh, ace, king, low, ace, king, mid, ace, queen, low, ace, queen, mid, look, uh, eight, king, queen, uh, ace, jack, ace, 10, mid, ace, king, low. You just have bever- uh, like big bet sizes. Like this is going 75%. Set abs, this is your world. You know what this purple is? Fucking all in on these jacks. All in. All in. 10, 9, X. Jack, 10, X. These purples are all in. And then the low boards are pretty good for us. If you have a huge gen like this, uh, I'd be all in uh, with the (laughs) tree of kind. Yeah. I do want to say here that your jack high boards and these the queen high boards look incredibly bad for us. King high boards not that great either. I mean, because when we think about the their range, their calling range here. Um, go here. You see his calling range. Paint suited aces, <laughs> suited kings. They call all this stuff as well. So yeah, their range is pretty strong. Um, but yep, let's get back into it. Give Julian uh, a few more hands to get nasty. King nine three. You've three bet your queen jack. You've been called. What now? Yeah, I would check this one. I bet uh, fifty. Bet fifty for setups. Bet fifty for sixes. I'm betting. I think this might be board where you still get to go 75% on. Maybe sometimes. I don't know if I I want to do it with this hand. Check, but if I bet, go 50%. Yep, it's it's another 50% or check spot, in my opinion. Yeah. Like, I I think it's going to be reasonable to do. This combo uh, blocking literally the top of his range here. In a lot of uh, situations, so yeah, it's like he doesn't just call with ace king. We still have ace king in our three betting range. We have a queen and a jack and a gut shot. Uh, we can make some so fifty for me. Um, but let's see if I'm griefing it. No, it's good. Mostly checking though, but yeah, I would go fifty. A little, way too much in this spot. My God. Order. All right, he checks back. You want to turn this into a bluff? We'll look at our flop strategy um, here as well. What now, Julia? Yeah, um, I guess, I'd say 25%. Why? Uh, just kind of probing him to see what he's got. Are you betting as a bluff? Yeah. Or... So if you're going to bluff and you think he's capped, would you not want to go bigger? Or you think 25%? Are you going to get enough fold equity? Uh, I, I I wouldn't. I don't go 25% here, but maybe I would. I would bomb it somewhere up here. Um, I don't know if I was going to bet, but I'm a little bit too aggro in some of these spots. Um. And I need to look at this myself, but I would definitely uh, bet something. Uh, but let's see. He goes this. Yeah, I'm up in here. I might have accidentally oh. potted it. Yeah, we never want to use this small bet size um, here. I think what you're trying to probe and say, I think instead of the way that you think about this spot, Julian, is all right. Um, we are going to still make some very strong hands out of position in our check range. Um when he checks back, he's likely capped. We're blocking a lot of the top portions of the value range he would have. And he checked again. So we can start to make some of his under pairs and different. We have equity to get there versus a lot of hands with a gut shot. Uh, the two overs to any under pairs. And we can start folding out some ace highs. Uh, the six is pretty ir- irrelevant as well. Uh, d- it does go five, five sometimes. I want to do what you guys do to show you the hell that happens sometimes. Hmm. All right, now what? We did that, and he called. And he, now, now, what do we do? <laughs> yeah, check. 
All right, he checks. He probed the five. He called. And now he's giving up with all the blockers. Setups is all the fuck in. Beats is going 12. You're, I, know, I know why you're going 12. Molten Ashes is all in as well. Beats, you're targeting ranges. You're just targeting under pairs. And <laughs> that's literally your target range. That's why you just want to use the small sizing. And it looks more consistent with value and ace x probably doesn't fold no matter what and you just want to go to 12 i get it i think all in might be an op might be uh splitting uh as an option as well so i'm i'm, I'm kind of curious uh i like i kind of get to 12 i would not be checking i don't think no i'm never checking i'm, I, I'm actually i'm actually probably a zero percent check and but i don't want to go all in because he has kings or aces that are going to call so that's why I'm going 12, and then I'm going to fold out all his missed straight draws. Yeah, I think in a lot of tournaments, I would do something like that as well and just say I'm literally representing some ASEX. The ASEX doesn't fold anyway. Uh, you might even still get called by a King X that maybe took this line. But at the same time, like... Yeah, but um, if you're trying to fold out all the missed straight draws, don't you have... Your hand beats all the missed straight draws. I think it's I think it's range when it goes check check flop is still under uh, pairs. There's also under pairs that you're. There's a get lot of under pair. There's under pair. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking about more so yeah. than yeah. Those missed straight draws plus under pairs. No, I wasn't disagreeing with the yeah. bet size. It was just oh. what he said in that statement seemed counterintuitive. Yeah, Me? sorry. No, I had, I had said oh, I just the mean. straight draws. I hadn't said the uh, the underpairs. I knew what you meant. Yeah. I thought I mentioned that initially. It's like what we're what we're all we're really targeting is underpair. He's never folded an ace. He has some ace high to get here, um, and going all in is just going to get you snapped off by slow plays. And he's not going to just oh, the, the solver is certainly not going to overfold an ace. So, yeah, the solver's never going to. I'm pretty much never going to fold an ace or a king to a jam. You're not calling that. What the fuck? Yeah. I don't get that, but. Yeah. Took one of its uh, lower King X and checked it back and very good. All right. They give you the goods. Now, Julian, this is hand number three for you. And one disappeared or something. Oh, um. Yeah, I would go uh, hot sauce bet here, hundred percent. Hundred percent. AC set hundred percent. Anybody else going hundred percent? Jelly's going seventy five. So there it is. I've seen every single option yet again. I mean, not every single one, but I see check. I see seventy five. I see one hundred. Um, I see fifty percent. Like we all got. We got to get better here. We all have to be better at this spot. There's no way we, all that all that's a thing. There's no way we're potting here. It's just we're never in one million years potting. 75 is just going to make him overfold too much. 50 is fine because you're doing it with so much of your range. Quarter, you don't need any protection. I would do it every single time with the ace of spades. Uh, more so, I would use this quarter. I, I would just probably use this way more and be at like, this but yeah, this board's safe as fuck you can do whatever yeah. you want yeah i think people um, get scared on this board right but like on this board like you said we don't need any protection it's more things like sevens and eights that are going to size up a bit off more often because turn cards are scarier you think that's accurate yep like here we're here we'll see our range sevens eights nines big it's yeah, fuck so. right i mean i didn't even need to see this literally the over pairs right in this region go gigantic what other hands go gigantic just three that way so bad those same, if you when you use your nine eight, your nine seven, your nine six, uh, all that. Well, these are top pair, but I would just mix in some large ass sizings, fifty and seventy five percent with these hands as well. All the same characteristics and then your as best these. Six x right, a six, king six, queen six. Yeah, you don't have a six, but uh, queen yeah, looks like offsuit. Offsuit. Oh, the offsuit. Yep, yep. All this shit. Yep. Um, so you got you got to remember this range doesn't really hit him either, so there's nope. no reason to go big. Yeah. You're just going to yep. get them to overfold. And another thing we think about that seems a little counterintuitive sometimes: uh, these three low cardboards, uh, even kind of connected, are very 
very high CBAT boards. They don't connect with this. You, We saw the range. It's a lot of like the queen high boards, the jack high boards are scary as shit, right? Um, and we got to be a little bit more careful with our strategy there. These low car boards, you're eating. You're not checking much. 13% check. You want to check that in the report? I mean, we're just going apeshit on low boards. Look at this. Those are pair, but I mean, eight, four deuce, eight, four, three. That's 90, that's 95% or something. Oh, that's uh, checking 30. Until you get to the 10 high boards, you're just, now oh, no, you start to slow down a little bit. 10, yes. you go, you start slowing down more. What, what's yep, funny yep. with, with uh, this kind of board in real life is is that the guy you're gonna bet and the guy's gonna say to you, uh, uh, do you really think I think you you hit on this board <laughs> and he's gonna it, stuck out? <laughs> it ain't even gotta matter because you have all the overpair in his range and he's still crushed. He doesn't hit that board either, and you have like an overpair advantage if he's not like fully at full frequency slow playing aces, kings, and queens. Um, so yeah, you can see here we're just we're just going crazy on these boards. It's just huge. It's almost as uh, prevalent as our ace mid low boards, right? So just something you to remember. Control. This is a three bet pot, so yep. their range is condensed. Uh, we went one hundred percent, which is not a thing. I'm gonna give you the next biggest size, Julian, which is oops, I'm sorry, uh, fifty ripped on. Do yeah, I dare I ask? Okay. Oh, fold. fold. Look how I much. Look. Folding. Yeah. I'm scared. Fold. <laughs> what are you scared of? Red. Nice. No, he's capping. He's capping. Ooh, this is one. These kind of boards uh, are going to happen all the time. Suck. Suck board. Yeah, like this. It's just kind of suck. Low board. We don't but uh, strategically. Setups is going 50 percent. Just I'll be a check here. <laughs> Would you bet, uh, Julian, if you had the ace of spades? Would you uh, bet with ace king of spades? Yeah, if I had ace king of spades, I would go 50 percent. Yeah, how about ace king of hearts? No, so you're checking here, and I'm gonna check you on your other ace, ace kings. Uh, setups. Never ever scared. Fifty percent can't be that bad or wrong. Look at this cat. Um, these mid, these high mid mid boards are like the nut low for C betting and three bet pods. It's in the master class actually. He specifically talks about these boards. Yeah, but I mean, we are low. still betting at a reasonable clip here. Like sure. it's, it, it does feel. It just feels bad. Like this strategy of using. But look, it's all equity and stuff or blocker and stuff, right? Like all the, the ace of spade, spade, all the king of spade. Before and then, you look at the ace king you know, suited, gutters. I think I would do it opposite. Bet more with the hearts and less with the king, with the spades. The same. It's it's literally the same. Yeah, you can do. You it just bet a little bit. You just bet bigger with the hearts than you do the spades when you bet. Yep. I was just trying to test you and because I was asking myself those questions in my head. Like, am I going to be? But it just doesn't matter. You're betting a bit more with the ace of spades. I just simplify it and I'm checking all my ace kings. <laughs> yeah, me too. It's too hard to think. Kings, 50%. You have no 75. You have no big bet. 50% range. Ace queen suited. All the ace queens. Top pair go hard. Um, all right, back here. I think yeah, I even go down. even Queen Six was going hard, like your shittiest queen. Yeah. Oh, not shitty anymore. Checking again, Julian. Um, no, I would. Yeah, I was gonna say. 25%. Leading 25% before. What did we see in the last? What did we see in the last ones? And what are you accomplishing? You're going to have to answer some questions before we just put bets out. <laughs> we don't just I, put bets out. We have to ask ourselves some tough questions. What are we accomplishing with our bet? You said probe last time. What did the sober think about the small probe last time? 
uh, hated it. Yeah. When it goes check, check in some of these spots, generally it's going to be more polar baptizing and your strategy is going to be more polar where you have some a draw of some sort or you have the goods. Here you don't have night, you have neither. You don't have a value hand. You don't have blockers to anything. You have some showdown, kind of. So yeah, I don't never. No, 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 no. We just can't be doing these things. And then we look at our strategy to bet on the turn. Look at this as well. I want to show you this as well, Julian. Just I'm I'm helping. Trust me, I'm not trying to be a dick. Uh, we no, want, you're we fine. Don't I've, I've only been doing GTO for a month or less, so I don't exactly. know half of this shit. No, I know, and I'm trying to. Uh, you're in a, you're getting in a fast track. You know, we're trying to fast track you so you don't have to go through all the pain that I went through or Toe went through. We're just making a million mistakes in game doing this shit. Hell yeah, yeah I still, thought, dude, I'm, I'm still, I went twenty five twenty five percent on these turns because I don't know, you know, I didn't know any better, and yeah, so it happens. Yeah, I'm still working through pre flop stuff. Just keep attending the groups, man. It, it, it feels pretty bad. It might feel like you're behind, but just know that people are light years behind you. Light years behind. And you're getting better exponentially fast. So, um, yeah, but uh, one thing you see pretty commonly here is you're not going to be using uh, these ace highs too much uh, without any equity. Ace eight to pair. Ace 10, like we said, is a gut shot. Blockers over. Um, ace four is a gut shot. Eight Ace five is the straight draw. So these all kind of have a little something working for it. This is very infrequently used. Um, and the strategy is pretty polar, right? It's got these straight draws, jack nine. Nine tens are straight. Um, king 10 with the spade, for sure going hard. Uh, king nine, easy. Um, queen six. But yeah, it doesn't use the quarter either. And it's 50% or 75. So... Yeah, when, when you have hands like this, if it goes checking all the way down, your ace-king can still win. But when you bet, you condense his range that the ace-king doesn't win as much anymore. Yeah, because uh, then he starts folding outwards ace highs and stuff like that. And when he does call you, you're shit. I mean, you're, it's tough. Um, Checking again? Yeah. Nothing changed for me. Nope. No need to do anything else. And look at that. You won. I wonder if you had call turning. It would have been funny if you bet the 25 on the turn he calls and you just got more value. Uh, last one. Ace, um, yak, nine. Set apps, what are you doing? Go ahead, Julian. <laughs> I'm a 50-person bet. <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I would say check. Yeah, yeah, the ace and the jack. Has his answer changed on any of the flops? Oh, it, it's changed it's no. because they, there's a big, big card. When I have uh, at least an uh, <laughs> uh, ace, and now you have an ace and a jack, uh, you need to bet uh, for sure. He's been 50% uh, every hand. <laughs> and you, what, what have we seen every hand from that? Has he yeah, been I mean, completely wrong? Has it been completely wrong? It's never been incorrect. It's never been a blunder. Not one time. The, the only time we didn't have a, a Broadway card on, on the board, it was a 6 3 twos with the aces and ends. Oh, yeah, the low <laughs> board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was more of a mistake on the low board. Aces were still doing it 20% of the time on that board. So, But the overwhelming bet size on those three car, low card boards of this. But two paint, um, you said you're going to check. Yeah. Setups is going 50%. This I think it might be a blunder on this board. Uh oh. <laughs> with this hand. Uh oh. Will fifty percent be the first blunder of the day with this hand? Yes. Yeah. Yet. Yeah. First time. And yeah, using this bottom pair is just like, what are we accomplishing? Um, ten percent. You have to use a really small size if you want to remember his range on these ace high boards. He's going to hit this. Julian wins. Uh oh. Yeah, I would fold. It's a call. Check folds. 
We got to call five to make 27. I'm uh, never folding. Never. I wish I could. I wish I had my old nitty days. I wish I could fold this because I feel like I just lose every time on the turn and I wouldn't have to lose these five bigs. But I, mean, I know these five bigs are like probably this. never coming back, but. You can't fold. I just clicked it to show the blunder. You can never, ever fold getting this price. Ever, 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 ever. That check raise is pretty nasty. It's hell, isn't it? Oof. How filthy. Um, but yep, yeah, just to show you what you can fold versus that bet, in case you're wondering, uh, practically nothings. All your real nothings. Even King Three with a spade calls. Like it's raising. Oh, yeah, it's raised. I'm sorry, it check raises this shit. It's raising. It's not even calling, it's check raising. Woo. I would I would miss this big time. Would you find this check raise with ace five beats? Uh, that would be a pretty rough one to find. <laughs> so, I don't know that I'm finding no, it. I don't think uh, if, if you're checking, you, you call after uh, for sure. <laughs> yeah, this that is, is rough. I'm using the five you still have to pair it yet. Yeah. You have oh, to my pair with bad kicker. And then yeah, I these mean, sevens and stuff like this. This is just so good. Oh my god! I need to play. I need to study more. This is so nice. I, I didn't know this was a thing. It's so good. So right. weird though, because like King four with the King of Spades is just a call. <laughs> king three and King five. You could check it. Whatever. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Don't <laughs> even try to. All right, we call. You want to do anything here? You leading or anything or just checking, Julian? Uh, yeah, I'd be a check here. I'm always just testing you, yeah, just checking. Are you calling or folding? You have three doors straight in a pair versus a third quarter? Quarter. Third. Quarter. I guess call. Hey, there it is. Molten says jam. Hot diggity damn. Hot dog. Let's see if jamming is a thing. Anybody else jamming? No. Punt. This isn't me you're playing against. <laughs> Walt Nashus, this is oh. not me. You're not battling me here. Hey. Um, Julian, any leading or anything? Or are you just... Um. Yeah, probably. Uh, I guess it would be a shove. Lead jam. Beats? Oh, no. I mean, Joey? he's he bet twice. I'm just. I'm sorry. I just heard my name as I was walking back to the table. <sighs> Are you jamming this? Um, let me. What's Lead what jam. Happened? Bet five. Call. Check. Call. Yeah, we just check call. We, we yeah, check all got there. I, we, we I'm check checking. Calls all the way. I'm checking. I'll be honest. I mean, sometimes you see funky little things like lead all in and leads that I never find on rivers. And it's literally only the strongest hands. I would only check this. So when I'm seeing people want to lead all in and it happens to me in game, I know they only have it. <laughs> Because I don't think anybody leads into a board like this without it. So I would check. Um, but let's see if lead jamming is a thing. I was going to say, the way this played out, I don't think we have a single lead jam. Never in a million years, right? We might have some fives, no, we but do. it's going to be very small. Oh, no, that's... Uh, no, that's us. Yeah, that's us. So there's some bet five, a very small percent, but yeah. Yep, you have zero combos. Zero combos are in the lead jam, guys. That's uh, you just, I mean, I would pretty much even like the stuff that it's saying. I it throw it out there because I don't want to shit on anybody's concept or ideas of poker. That is not what this is about. It's about getting better and understanding thought processes and, you know, just becoming better poker players. Um, so I do see this in game sometime. I know it's not correct. And when I try to range them, I think it is only the goods. Like uh, when you see this in game, guys, and you get jammed into, 
because we have people in this group that want to jam. So that means people in a population will want to jam. It's going to be trips or a boat or a string. A lot. Um, you, you, I can have a misfush door that jam in the right there. <laughs> dead. If you, yeah, yeah, you, if you have the misflush draw, your ass is getting called even more. You're getting called so much more because he has more value hands in his range when he gets here after going. Yeah, it's. Yeah, so and you got to remember, like he's got. If you check to him, every ace he has is pretty much jamming. All his like low suited connectors, like miss spades or jamming. Yeah, yes. He's got all kinds of jams that you're ahead of. There are some that you're behind, but yeah, he has dog shit here and just gave up. But I think the point is still there. Um, Julian. My yeah. friend, thank you so much uh, for running the five hands, man. I hope it was helpful for you. We uh, just the thought part. I know the uh, theory stuff is new to you, but I appreciate you stepping in, uh, even with limited knowledge of theory and giving it a shot, man. I appreciate that. Yep, I'm still super confused. I'm still super confused too, my my man. Uh, I'm still learning every day, but it's just we take off bite sized pieces and do the best best we can, man. Like nobody uh, outside of a few people in this world that I know, people are still just doing the best they can at this game. Don't feel bad. Yeah, just realize um, the journey never ends. The it never ends, learn, man. The more you realize you don't know a goddamn thing. Even exactly. Matt Netflix video lit, or webinar last night, he had a spot and something came up and he was shocked at the result. Yeah, I was studying with him for like an hour before that, and we were running Sims, and uh, we were pretty much drilling on Pio because Pio has a re replay or reviewer. You can run your own spots, and we were just seeing some crazy shit. So I was wrong as telling him some spots. He's wrong. So it was like, man, the game is so hard. Don't feel bad um, about making mistakes. Yeah, that's why somebody as good as Matt Affleck still doesn't know. Yeah, you see his quizzes? Yeah. He griefs them sometimes. All right. Um, Nick, if you're interested in getting in here, running a quick five piece, it'd be fun. Yeah, I pretty much only do cash. We'll give it a shot. Hell yeah. Um, tournament world, 30 bigs effective. We three bet. We were 40 effective to start. Uh, we three bet button call, and it is your world for a few hands. I think we bet small here, probably five bigs, I think, on monotone like this, super wet. How often do you think our range in total is is betting a board like this? Mm. If you just had to guess. Pro uh, I don't know. Probably not very frequently. I'm not I'm not positive though. This is I've I've learned a lot so far for this sesh, so I don't know. Right. Um Anybody else have a guess on frequency of betting this board? 75%. I would say somewhere in there. Yeah. I would say 80%, maybe. Yeah, it's, a, it's uh, a really, 75 to 80%. With the stack dip, I don't, uh, I start to believe it's less than that. You put half of your stack on this bit. <laughs> I think we bet frequently small, but that's, yeah. but I don't know. Yep. Uh, using a five and yeah, we're not going to be using this size setup 75%. Uh, we're not going to be using see this stack sizes. Yeah, I, it's, it's I kind of like two. That could be fine. I'm, I'm sure it's mixing. Can't be yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's not going to be bad. Yeah, we're going to be betting this. This specific hand, small, almost always. Two is going to be fine as well. I see that commonly. Um, and then our range is betting 80%. Hmm. So okay. we're right there. Yep. And we're going to be betting this board wow. quite frequently. Look at the all-in with the pocket aces. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, go back to that so you can see that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Aces, no space says, well, no space. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Yeah I, I, yeah, I didn't see that. Queen three is somehow in there. That's funny. Queen three with the spade, you find that, like, green tag somebody. There. Hooray. One SPR, flush gets there, uh, four liner gets there, and you have a baby flush. Now what? Mm. 
probably checking. Okay. I don't know. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking check. Thinking check. Um, I don't. I don't know that I want to jam here because which, there's we have such a low flush and it's there's four spades out. So what would be the lowest flush you would bet here? Probably nine. And what size would you bet? Um. I'd probably go. Uh, we're we're so short stacked. I don't know. I, I guess. Tw- I I don't know. I guess I jam anything nine or higher. Jamming anything nine or higher, probably have some small bet. I think we have some three in there, as well. Um, Seven point five yeah. is kind of interesting, but I think going three with some of our range could be very good. Go keeping an extra flush range. Just say yeah. Almost yeah. all of our flushes, I think, are going to go three. With, well, with having a king as well you leave yourself the prospect here when you check even with the flush of facing two bets or facing an all-in or something and then being indifferent yourself um versus him having some single spades and so, so i personally probably just stab small uh here i don't think 25 feels like a bit much but three feels really good so i don't lose initiative maybe if i have the ace of spades i just check you I'd know, still go they, I might still go very small, but yeah, um, three. I mean, bet. I would just bet basically yep. any spade. I think I'm just gonna bet super small. I don't want to check because my hand's worth more than that. Yes, and I want to just basically every flush just bet the same amount. Uh, Maybe the nine or ten high flushes might be different. Oh, so here's our strategy. Is this us? Bet yeah. five, call, and then, yep. Uh, so we are bet never really checking. Follow through. Uh, this is, yeah, so the, you just follow through, guys. The yeah, side- go, to, go to filters and, yeah, our flushes. I'm sure those are That's right here. all. Every single flush. Maybe two percent of them checking, but yeah, it's sometimes king yeah, ten. Almost everything is like ace ten. I mean, ace king sometimes three. So yeah, good. ace king ten. with a ace of spades is still betting ten percent. It's good for, from both directions, right? Like it's good if you have a weak spade because now you don't have to face a big bet and be in a weird spot. Yep. Mm. It's good if you have a good spade because all the damn spades are out of the deck and you're targeting the shitty spades. But. Makes sense. It is interesting how some of your weaker spades, uh, no, nah, that one Jesus, but like the two of spades, for instance, here goes bigger, yeah. And I think it's just going to go bigger and give up, right? Like, yeah, because you got a spade under the board, so yeah, so it's just because any dead. other spade comes, you're dead, literally. Yep, okay. Um, so yeah, we want to be betting this, but when we do check, what does that do for our lives? Oh yeah, God, here we see. go. Calling, folding. What are we doing? Calling. Uh, I don't think we're folding. Yeah. Nope, can't ever fold. Yeah, never ever fold. Checking or leading? I don't think I'm leading. I think we're just gonna check. Yep. Ooh, little spicy leading. I thought ten percent might be a thing here, so you don't get put in hell. Hmm. But here it comes. I think we. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I I don't know. It's it's nitty, <laughs> but I think I'm just folding here. But anybody calling? <sighs> this is why I love the three. This is why my life after just betting three this is on really terror. hard with all the paint cards out of the deck. Yeah, yeah, it's like Solverland. I know it's a pure call. Real life, <laughs> yeah. Real I, life, I might mix it. In real life, does anybody is. anybody shove the two two of spades? Because yeah, that's all they have bluffs. But people have bluffs. Yeah, this is a great easy pot to bluff. We still can to bluff. Yeah. I mean, it's, if I have ace eight, no spade, and I got to this spot, I'm shoving. Oh, hell yeah. I'm jamming a lot. I'm jamming a ton. Okay. All right. Um, he says he's folding. I don't think I can fold. And when I uh, kind of capped my yeah. ring, he kept it in so many bluffs, but I think it's going to be maybe splitting or neutral. Never, nope. Nope. ever. Ever fall. <laughs> no, it's just too good. But I mean, I guess it starts to, when you check it there, it's just like you put yourself in a spot where you can't ever fold. Like when yeah. you check the third. But I want to see what happens when we bet. I want to see what happens. 
on the turn when we go bet three uh they call what was that river it was the ace Ace, Ace yeah. of clubs. and then uh it's, we just lead for 35 percent yeah, yeah, what the f i mean this is madness it's so <clears> nasty <throat> I think I seen Sam Squid kind of play as well. Yeah, you got no showdown value. Yeah, Sam Grafton seen him do a, take a crazy ass line like this. Uh sweet. I'm not letting you fold. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, like mm -hmm. Ace Eight Queen Nine, no queen, queen, like that. anything, just taking. Yeah, it, you know? that's the solver is going to do that in real life. You're not necessarily going to see as many like suited queens, suited kings that shove. But I would say that you'd that, see but... those under pair shove a lot, like the two oh, yeah. fours, fives. I mean, yeah. two fours, fives. Yeah. yeah, and that's where you got to, I think that's where I, I would mix it in real life. Um, put eight sixes, uh, put in the blocker and then have them jam. You still call them the four then? A blocker? What do you mean? Block, when you blocker the river that. and he jams still, are you still calling with the four? because that's what i i've been blockering a lot of rivers and i'm just oh. getting freaking slammed on and i don't know so call and then ace of clubs and then yeah do the 12 five i mean we're pretty yeah. much priced in at that point yeah but yeah it's kind yeah. of because I mean, our it's in hell. blocker like, is zero ev call it's, it's zero only EV. 10 bigs more yeah yeah, like it's zero EV when you get this low. Like everything, it's you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. Like in real life, if you put the fucking twelve out there and somebody comes over the top, it's less than it's less than zero because they you're dead. The money's dead. But I'm saying it's you're never a bluff, right? So it's always in real life. Better. It's it's you're stone dead in real yeah. life. I think if you put the if you put the blocker out on a four line board and get jammed on. <laughs> Like you, they don't, yeah. You have this short of a stack, you're, well, you, and yeah, you're 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 shit. Uh, in my in my opinion, if you do block it in real life, you're you're dead. That's why I don't get the point of blocking then. But I guess it's you oh, know shit. you're gonna face it either way. If he's jamming on you when you check, and he's no, jamming on you when you're, I think when you follow through then on river. I well, think when you follow on through on river, that queen nine does not make that lot take right. That when you when you do that blocker, it erases all of his bluff jams. Yes. So he now you know jam. any jam that he does is the goods. Yeah, he doesn't have any bluff well, jams anymore. So then being priced in is pointless. No, but the way we played it, the way Nick played it when we checked the turn, he has all the bluffs in his range because we kind of capped our range where he still needs to turn hands into a bluff. And it, if you play population that doesn't have enough bluffs in their range, it kind of makes it an easy fold. It's it's only a zero EV call because the sober still finds a balance. Bluff. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, Nick, still on you, sir. All right. Um, I think I think I'm probably betting fifty here. I'll do one of sets. Hey, fifty. Uh, remember, uh, some of the earlier stuff we looked at. We started off with sixty effective. We are shallower effective. Oh, but yeah, yeah. We only have thirty. Let's see. Setups is at fifty as well. Your bet sizing will drastically improve, uh, sh uh, sh get shallower because we must start thinking about the stack to pot ratio in these yeah. in these situations. Still, kind of a thing here. Um, this is this is going to be much more prevalent when we get down to forty. Yeah, that makes sense. But now, when he calls his fifty, <laughs> uh, where are we? Yeah, we're in pretty rough shape here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we went larger and kind of condensed some of the hands he would call it so yeah i think i'm like just check fold here yeah he's gone point. yeah set abs is all in shrugs it the fuck in it's a high card some stuff missed beats is jamming 
uh, as well, just following through. What did I do? Interesting. Um, mostly all ins. Savage Nation all in. Savage Nation is right. Hmm. It's so unintuitive, isn't it, Buck? Like, it feels like when you get called in a spot like that. But uh, if we look at the report breakdown of how we're interacting on most of these turns, like, uh, you're going off. Wow, you're going shit. You're going ape shit. The jack is just such a brick. Holy shit. Yeah, I guess with that little left behind. You're in touch. Oh, it just kind of is what it is. Oh, that's just for the hand. It's 100%. Dude, you are actually just so aggressive in this spot. You only have a half pot left. Yeah, okay. you're just like... You're... The seven of spades. The, the four and the seven are like obviously the worst, but yeah, I'm sorry. I had to just see. Um, it feels bad. We we got to just shack up and move in. But we do check. Let's see what happens to us. Yeah. Uh, said, why are you rooting against him like that, Beat? <laughs> <laughs> just wishing for all the bad things to happen to my dude. Well, uh, I'm bet. I don't know. At this point, I I probably, I probably would bet small. Bet four, maybe. I don't hey, know. You can't be wrong because you broke the solver. Yeah, yeah. At this point, right. we're kind of off the rails. I just want to see something bad happen as well. Car crash four. We do <laughs> I was going to say at this point, Damn when dog. I get to the river, I just check. There you go. When it gets there this way. I, I would have yeah, checked. I yeah, I probably, I might have just, yeah, I'd probably just check in there. If I checked the catch. turn, I'm just checking the river. Yeah. I'm not going to turn my eye into a bluff at that point. Keep getting these monotone boards. Well, we know what our strategy is. Kind of in a vacuum here. But it's interesting. The ace and the king are out there. So what do you think? Uh, what do you think happens now? Probably bet five, right? Five big blinds. Mm. No. <laughs> it's no, well, it's uh there the interaction seems to be a little bit different. Uh when like a monotone board with like the ace, king, and queen out there, I think you get big ass bets. Because they never have the flush. All their flush draw cards are out of the deck. So our single pair ASEX and stuff like that become nutty. But I, I, I imagine you can uh, have pot here. It's probably as five. Yeah, I was going to say, I like check on this because I have too much equity. I don't want to get, uh, I don't want them like jamming. Overfolding. You don't want to yeah. jam and fuck it. If they jam, I'm not folding. Yeah. Well, yeah, but I mean, it's. I'd rather just check and call. There you go. Yeah, yeah hell yeah. It's snap. Yeah. Dad, thank God. Thank God, yes. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm, uh, the way I would say it, I'd be like, oh, I'm going to just bet, and this feels like the best to me, but I would make a mistake here because I'm betting 100% of the time. Uh, and look at this one. Ace, king of spades. Uh, ace, king, spade out there. Monotone board. Look how much more we're checking relative to the other one. Holy shit. I'd agree with this. And uh, since we're not betting as frequently, we get to use more 50. Where's the monotone boards? Let me see something. There's some all in? What the hell? Yeah, 10 9. Where's the ace? Ace, king, queen. Ah, uh, yeah, you just get 50% a lot. Still checks a lot. You get 50% a lot. All right. Seven. Nine eight seven. The hell? When you can just flop a straight flush draws and shit are out there? Interesting. I'm sorry. I'll go back to the trainer. Give Nick. Uh, how many hands is this? This is four. One more hand after this. How do you? Oh, dude, is this shit just monotone boards? Oh, uh, because yeah, you changed it over to monotone. I think it's ah uh, in the mm. filter. I was like, what is happening? Uh. 
Ford. Ford, yeah. Flop is any, so he is literally just rolling monotone boards. No, you got under board right under the game on the left side. Click that. Yeah, it's right. all here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. when it, it says happened. any. Yeah, he, it just so happened he got back to back. Just calls. lucky, I guess. Yeah, just lucky. <laughs> but he had three of them, dude. He had that first one as well. That's crazy. Um, well, now you have aces since we uh broke it. Uh, I'm betting five probably. I'm just starting small. It's pretty I dry. Do. I don't. Set abs 50. Just, oh, he's been five now. He's learning. He's learning. Yes. We have to stop the madness. We need to get called. Now we have a sub one SPR again. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to size up a little bit here. I don't know. I'm not, I don't know that I'm that concerned with a six, but I'd probably bet 50%. We're betting 15 of our 25 stack going to leave us like what on the river? We're going to have 10 in the... Yeah, I guess there's not really a point to that. No. Yeah, I guess just jam. I, well, I don't know. Do I want to go smaller then just so I can see what the river looks like? Or do I want to just jam? I'm not really sure. Probably just jam, I guess, because we're probably ahead. Are you afraid? Are you afraid? Wait a minute. Are you afraid of anything? Not particularly. I don't think. Maybe, it, I mean... Yeah, I don't know. Nah, I guess it's just a jam. I don't know if there's anything. If you're not afraid of range, anything, I would be afraid of anything. Why not check? Yeah. Are, are, aren't yeah, you fair. going to have hands in your range? Um, maybe some of your ace kings, ace queens, stuff like that, where you do see that a lot of your range on this board, and then this turn is just dog shit. Your king queens, yeah. right? Uh, yeah. These type of hands. What's nice to have in your checking range on top of all those other hands that you're going to need to check, give up with? What's nice? Strong hands. Aces, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, so they can bluff as well. So I would personally find uh, a lot of checker with the sub one SBR. And if they did check back, I can get the money in yeah. on the river. Uh, we have another street to get the money in. I don't need any protection. There's was... only one card that the seven yeah. of spades is the only card that would scare me. I wonder if it is checked, but uh, you said you were going to bet. Let's throw out a bet of something. Yeah. Uh, Seven five. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, this is why. Yep. It's just really nice to have a check here because you're gonna need to check some weaker hands. This literally needs no fucking protection. None. It's so nutty. So I would check the SPR is already sub one, and we can get the entire stack on the on the river anyway. That makes sense. Yep. Kings. Uh Kings with a spade, obviously, wants to check almost every time. I would check kings with the spade. Uh, queens, not as much slow playing. Uh, we are just going all in. Um, and this small bet is reserved for some other shit. You wouldn't just stab small with to keep the story going. Queen eight with the spade and stuff. I would not find this. I'd be. Yeah, but what value hand is it doing small? Oh, pocket kings, pocket queens, a little pocket aces. Yeah, little. I mean, in like fours, fives, sixes. Yeah, fours, fives, and sixes, or sets a little bit. Yeah. You know. Jack five, you have um that you've mixed three bet with in 10% of the time. Like the weights of these other shit, like it, it yeah. looks massive, but you know, obviously the more the big portion of our range is up here. Nine shrugging it in because that jack doesn't have much interaction. So I really like that. Cool. All right, so we do. Oh, no, uh, we went this because this was an applicable sizing we could use. So we did bet. Ahaha. Good old four liner going to get there. Are you jamming when the four liner gets there or are you checking? I'm probably checking and calling. Uh, yeah i guess i'm just i guess i'm just check call at this point check call yeah i mean you wouldn't have too many seven x so we want to jam um yeah. i would always just check here as well um jamming just feels like are you getting called by worse outside of just a jack x See, it feels say i'm jamming my kings and queens but, and probably jacks call 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 yep for sure. yeah can't fall no hunting if you fold Got his ass. Yeah. Last one. Well, a bad all in with these six. <laughs> <laughs> what a fish. We should tell this guy what a fish he is. 
This old Pio is just overrated. Just fishy spass. We flopped a joint. These are weird. These are weird flops. Um, yeah, you are getting some kind of weird yeah. ones. Uh, go, bet five bigs. Bet five. Ooh, bet two. I mean, this is spicy as hell. Uh, but yeah, I like the bet five. It's it's going to be uh, applicable, and you don't have to strategically say, "Oh, I flopped a joint here. I need to go to where I made a mistake." Yeah. I think five is five is good. Again, uh, probably seven and a half. I don't know if I'm because I, I mean, since we're pretty short stack though, can we check and just be ready to call and jam river? Hey, Probably. see, that might be an option as well. I'm glad at least last time you didn't even consider it, but now you're starting to consider it, right? Yeah, last um, time I was like, how do I get my stack at the river? But we only had 30 big blinds, so that wasn't really computing to me, but I guess, yeah, we'll check here and then because we should be able to get it in either way. Well, this one's interesting because there are there is a six X that makes a straight and there is a flush draw. I don't know if I would bet three or something like that. Man, I mean, I guess all three options. For for me, and if I didn't know in game, or if I saw a student tan history and they picked something in here, I think it would be okay. I could see logic for all three of these. Jamming is just a punt. Um, yeah, but I, you, can, you can convince me all these could be good. Um, yeah. So you're going to check? Yeah. Oh, Never check. Apparently not. Yeah, I, th I thought checking might be reasonable. But once you think about it, there's a flush draw. And there's a 6x to mix a straight as well. He has to just realized all of his equity, which is a little sad. I would have went three a little bit too often. But with all these draws on board, you probably don't go three as much yeah. because your value range would need protection and would never go three. Mm. How much three do we have? Not much. Okay. Uh, let me put this at full weight. There we go. Beats at 7.5. Legend. I just saw that. Jack seven. So some raggedy, some of your raggedy gut shots and things like that. Your King Jack of Spades trying to set it. Some of your flush shots and a few of your hands trying to set its own price. Uh, it looks like a lot. Ace deuce is pure quarter. And you're quartering a little hot. Damn it. All right. Uh, yeah, we 7.5 because I'm doing that with all my sets as well. Yeah. And it makes sense from a value perspective if you have overpairs, which you do have in your range, you would never want to check those or go this small. You just wouldn't, right? You would want to put some meat on it. So it's very good. Um, was this a, was this an option? That's well. Let's just do this. It's fine. Oh yeah, of course. Snap. Yep. Wow. Got there on turn. Cool. Um, cool. very good. Thank you, Nick. Thank you. Uh, that was good, man. Thank you, buddy. Um, we'll do one more. We'll go down to 20 big blinds where we're going to have the shallowest SPR, do five hands there. Then we'll try to spend a little bit of time looking at some ICM adjusted ranges while we have some time. Uh, I probably have 35 minutes, 35 minutes. So let's go back. Um, no, I always mess this up. I want to go to trainer. Then I'm going to go to this. And then I want to change it from this. Hey, Beats, look, I'm learning this tool. Hey, it's, about time. Time. it's only been five months of using, <laughs> using it at least four times a week. Um, I'm trying to think of what's going to be more. Three, probably 25. Um, I'd do 25. 20 is going to be probably a too ton, many too many jams. jams. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Hmm. I'm trying to think about, I'm trying to visualize the ranges, which is going to have more, yeah, we'll do this. Like this, the SPR is so damn shallow here. Oh no, we, I, I accidentally put it on, uh, oops. whoops. Um, raise 8.1, button call, flop any. Look at this SPR, there's 17 out there and we already have 16 in our stack yeah, i was gonna say at this 25 is... i don't think we really have any lead chance but at 20 we do so 25 ah. is coming. yeah this is gonna be good set apps yes 
Yeah, let's do it, my friend. Get in here and give them hell. Okay, pre uh, you change the action. They say it's the same. It's a three bit from us. Yep, three bit. Okay. They call and we're post flop. They didn't jam. We didn't jam. Here we are. Uh, let's uh, bet uh, tw- four point four. <laughs> 4.4. Anybody going 10? Per- I would, I'd be tempted at this shallow of an SPR to start going 10 percent. 4.4. B money says 10. Molten says 10. 4.4. 10's bad. Whoa, we're back in there. So now that we see this, look at this shit. Just all in. No, all in is my move uh, in real life. <laughs> <laughs> so now you see this, you got a couple more. Uh, um, a sixes? Yes, sir. Change your um, three bet size to eight point one because you have so few hands, or to six point three because you have so few hands that are doing eight point one. Oh shit! There were there were two options. Yeah, I was like, wait, you shouldn't even. I was like, oh man, six point three. You're never phrasing the uh, ace king off to six point to. Yeah. To this, I was like, why is it in there? All right, that one didn't count. It was so wild. This is more. This is more like it, because we went four X. Yeah, you're right. That was just a four X size. What the hell? Um, now, what are we doing? He's going to go quarter pot. Uh, uh quarter pot three point five. Quarter pot. I would always just go quarter here as well. Oh, fifty percent still in there. I see. That's kind of surprising. You know, the solver is going to be sticky. How do we take this from him? Uh, I'll go. I'll continue with five point three. <laughs> He's gonna follow up and leave himself sub ten. No, but weeks. I think against the silver, it's, it's a check. But uh, I will have follow up <laughs> <laughs> because I will be, get in star gym if I check. <laughs> I don't know. It just didn't change anything. And then some of his backdoor flush draws pick up equity. We don't pick up equity. Anybody else following through here? I would check like a Nick. I'm like, checking, yeah. Hey, and it's a little bit higher of you just to follow up. Got that dog in him. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, now what? You must have the 10, but uh, you need, uh, you don't have the equity to push him out, but you, you don't have the choice to put him out, uh, so uh, you will go all in. <laughs> oh, man. If you get here with this, does the solver want to use the stone bottom, even when the backdoor flush draw gets in, well, even when it feels like you have no fold equity with this? it. Peanut butter and because j- you're at the bottom, stone fucking bottom of your range, you can't show down. May as well try to rep it, and you're dead. And <laughs> the kids, and you're dead. Uh, he play well, this king. He covered the pre flop. On this, uh, uh, with the flush door, I will bet uh, 3.5. <laughs> yep. It's so cool to still see this size being utilized uh, this much. I, I I don't utilize this enough at the stack then. So it's pretty cool to see it there. I'm going to have to research and see if it's using it with like nines yep. exclusively. We're just going 50 Let's go for a check. Ooh. Anybody else checking? Cat Jam from Malton. Yeah. Cat Jam. I'm not checking Queens. I'm too. Yeah, I, I don't have enough heart. Maybe. Let's see if he's right. 3%. No, no. But it's the same idea. Queens with the spade. No, yeah. Queen with the spade or kings. Kings or aces. Way more than queens. Oh, come on, Solver. Punt to him. Call your check jamming. All right. You did induce him and get an extra two bags. Hey, take care, Nick. Thanks for hanging out, man. And uh, good luck uh, on the grind uh, this weekend. Thank you. Later on. Yep. It's got pocket tens. Ace is dead. <laughs> How bad do you run? <laughs> You're getting just annihilated. <laughs> ah, yeah, there it is. You're good, eight. At least those two didn't cost me anything. 
Yeah, in real life, yeah, that costs you a lot. You don't even have these hands because you jammed them pre. Duh. I've been slow play a big pair of so two times in a row. <laughs> yeah, you slow play and you're still dead. <laughs> My God, poker's hard. Oh boy, now you got top set. Check. Ooh, Czechoslovakia. Not a thing. Twenty-five percent. Still twenty. Still quarter it. But when you guys do these things, you're gonna play at a zip and see how your life is altered. Oh. Check raises in there. We're still on we're still on path. It's still a thing. You're Check. not leading. Yeah. All in. All in this time. He's not playing around. Woo! Still gets called by the tens. He got it all in by the end, different than I would have, but we still would have ended up there. Yeah, and all the money got in anyway. I, I got some big in. Uh, <laughs> I'm running up. Uh, you going to quarter this one, or are you going to do oh, it's, else? A, it's a, I think it's a quarter with the flush draw on this board. Oh, not even. It's 50%. 50. Wow. Wow. Ace, king. Ace King mid, Ace Queen mid, Ace Jack mid. It, the same rule applies at all stack depths across all game types that I've seen in cash, in tournaments, in these three bat pots. This is why the game will get easier one day because these it's, theoretical concepts are the same. I've already time finding a big bet on with a twenty per BB stack depth. <laughs> I could show you all these. We can go through all these reports. And this section is always like, well, this is just monotone. It's so crazy to me. Dude, this section's always like this with the big bats, man. 55%. Eight. How about king? How about uh king queen uh low? King Jack low. Uh when you do bat. It uses a good amount of 50% here, right? Uh, queen mid, queen jack mid, queen jack low. Big. All the fuck in for some of these. 50% bets. These are betting range. Holy smokes. So, yep, good to see. Lee jamming 765 in some of these boards. Wow. We only got to do this study group once a week for another 10 years before we figure it out. So, uh, quarter pot, resell. Oh, yeah, I'm an idiot. 50. Still get action. All in. Yeah, there's just, you can't do anything else with an SPR to shallow and a board like this. Hey. And I don't know. It's, it's not a check. <laughs> we'll do one more hand setups and then we're going to look at uh, ICM adjusted ranges really quick. Yes, sir. Uh, on this, uh, I'll go uh, 3.5. Same. Still in there. Jack mid low, Jack low low. Didn't know we had this much with B, but yeah. Whoa. Well, it's a flush the uh, all in. I think I beat it. I think it's a call. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got call. a flush draw, buddy. Uh, I'm calling. Fuck it. You're calling. You can't fold. Lose the flip anyway to the best hand in poker. Damn. So that is always interesting. Crazy sexes. Too good. Damn. Obviously. Just calling ace 10 high. Ace 10. Oh, I think a new two overs are going to call. Yeah. Ace Even eight one with any spade. Oh, man. Oh, mama. Ace five is easier. Oh, me. These are all tough. How hard is the game of poker? Unless your name is Jackson, over aggressive fish. What's up, my dude? What up, Steve? Shit, studying. We are going on uh almost three hours, so very good. Um, let's get in here and 
do some pre-flop IC and Majestic ranges. Look at some stuff uh, there. Let me see if I have my pre-flop academy open anywhere. You just waking up? Uh, woke up a couple of times, filled out some ACR orders, and hey. had a home inspection for a place we're leaving in two months. Nice. I know all about the home inspections. I've been to hundreds of them. Uh, charts, 40, RFI. And if you need to see what 40 players look like, it's money bubble. Um, but I was really curious. Me and Matt spent a, lo a lot of time looking at these ranges uh, yesterday, 50 and some 25. And if you if you were there yesterday, you got a chance to see some of the big differences with the ranges. Um, but instead of spending 20, 30 minutes looking at them, since we don't have that much time, I want to just get in here, train the spot, see how you do with your basic intuition, and then give you an opportunity to look at about it, look at it, talk about it. And I think that'll be the most efficient, effective way to do it. Uh, we'll just so we'll do um 50%. For 10 hands, and then we'll do 25% for 10 hands. And what we're going to do is some RFI and some versus RFI, just so you're in complete hell and you could never get comfortable. Anywhere. Since we don't have a lot of time, um, we're just looking for some basic heuristics. Um, uh, who has not got in here today? Beats. I don't think I'm calling on you. Oh, now you guys, now you're busy. All of a sudden, now, no, all no, 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 sorry. I, I, knew, I forgot to unmute it. <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> he got shook now. He's been here for hours and now he's gone. Hey, I ran to the restroom, I muted it, and I forgot to unmute no, it. No, uh, you want to get in here and uh, send us home with a, one of these final runs? We're looking at 50% of the field, and we're going to have some 25% of the field spots. Okay, so this one, I'm folding King 7 suited with 30. What's the worst suited can you be, Pip, from the cutoff? Uh, King 9, and I'm probably going to 3-bet that. To what size? Uh, 5.5. I think that's 2.75 uh, is good. But then, like, it's good, it's kind of weird because I'll, like, through bet king 9 suited, king 10 suited, I'll probably split. King queen, king jack, I'll just flat. Um, calling sixes plus, but through betting tens plus. Um, ace Four suited, I'm probably in there, except for a six, a seven. But a four through ace eight, I'm gonna three bet, ace nine through ace queen flat. And then on the off suit, ace jack off. Mm -hmm. And three betting everything except for ace queen off, I might uh, split. Yeah, ace queen off might flat a lot. And these kind of spots with 50% yeah. of the field. And then um, uh, with qu suited queens, I probably split between call and three bet, queen jack, queen 10, and then jack 10 mostly call. All right, so we're folding this. King nine splitting. Uh, yeah, these lower ones is very good here. We did have ace eight, but yeah, mixing these. A uh, six and a seven are actually in there as a full three bet. I figured those are yeah. mainly folds. I'm almost full frequency calling these ace queens here in this spot when we start getting any kind of depth in tournaments. Ace queen, oh. Lands. Um, ace jack o. Uh, this is kind of good to see. Mix still mixing three bet there in ace ten. And then our yeah, I was surprised when you said it's, uh king ten suited mixing. I've I, I flat this every time. I, I was wondering when you said like, ooh, am I supposed to be three betting that? Or just flat. I probably over three bet the those suited ten and suited nines. Yeah. Suited jacks. Uh, Oh man, they can't use that. Um, uh, let me think. 
Okay, so we fold it next hand. No. Next hand, 50% on 40 bigs. And it's an SB. Ass end of the SB. Um, this one I probably flat is probably the bottom of my offsuit fours. Mm -hmm. um, trying to construct a range here. You don't have it's yeah, very hard. This it's, is, is going to be a super hard right. range to construct because it's going to have the boomerang on the suited side, like well, eight six seven five five four suited nine four. Suited. The more important, what percentage are you raising here? What I mean, how much of the range? 20, 22 percent. I'm low. raising. Maybe at fifty percent it gets there, but I think it's more than that. But maybe, maybe not. Maybe it's much tighter here. I think it's still like close to forty, but at thirty-five. Call this uh, seventeen plus. Oh. It's damn. It's actually much tighter. It's tighter. Five percent tighter than I was. Jeez. Yeah. See, this uh, is hard to say the range because there's so. Because you can visualize it. Yeah, it's like right here, this little boomerang, like you're saying, and then it's just mixes. Yeah, so, I think I probably over three bet a lot of the offsuit stuff. I over like a I higher percentage of them. Yeah. Ooh, twenty bits. Now we're getting to have fun. Um, uh -huh. Hijack raises. And I'm in the small blind. I know what I'm doing. This I'm ripping. Okay, good. Me too. Uh, yeah, all day. Yeah, this is kind of a weird. This is kind of a weird range as well because I'm playing all my suited aces, but it's like ace two, ace three. I might just three bet. Ace five. Mm. You're not just no. <sighs> mm -mm. And then like. I'm ripping ace 10 off to ace king off. Yep. Um, I'm ripping king nine suited to king queen suited. Queen nine suited to queen jack. Threes through jacks I'm probably ripping and then just three betting the top three pairs. I think this is the spot where you fucking rip all those, right? Or uh, maybe it's still, we maybe, looked at, that was a big blind before because. Yeah, it, that's the big blind because we're in the small that blind. That's kind yeah. of a weird, funky thing with the bottom yeah. suited aces. Yeah, it's like, yeah. it's just aces and kings. Yeah, but don't we rip all the pairs down, uh, even down the twos? I mean, you can, but. You can. You can. Fives sure. are kind of, yeah, kind of, fives are kind of a weird one in this spot. Yeah. Um, I probably ace over rip fives. Five. Ace I over five. Flat. I probably overfly ace five and then oh, I shit. don't jam ace seven suited enough. Yeah, neither do I. Yep, king nine suited plus though, suited ten, suited jack, suited queen, king queen off, ace ten off plus all pairs. Easy. Simple, simple stuff. Yeah, like it, there's not a million spots in poker, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 100, small blind, big blind, different opening positions, but yeah, it's easy. All right, so. You still have this in your opening range. This is right on the cusp, I think. Um, I probably fold this and open Jack 10 suited. Sixes plus, ace nine off, plus king ten off, queen jack off, queen nine suited, king eight suited, and all my suited aces, maybe not ace deuce. Yeah, this one feels really close. I feel like yeah, this probably I'm does fall off. The, I mean, I used to, I was surprised, but this is definitely a hold. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this, yeah, I'm, I'm like, ah, oh, it's in there. still in there. Maybe one more place over. Is it opening from here? We can look at this one. It must be MP. Nope, still in there. Is it fucking opening this under the gun? No. He shook. He's scared. Suited nines. Yes. The jack ten clubs. Oh wow. Jack nine is nines in there. Suited nines are in there are everywhere. Well, there are iterations where it's not. Yeah, I'm so used to studying eight handed as well, so yeah. it's a little bit different. Because this is nine handed. 
And we're in a money bubble. Uh, we're not money bubble. We're fifty percent of the field. Fifty yeah. percent. That's still still can be loose enough. Yeah. Okay. In the small blind here on twenty, I want to three bet this to two point five x so five. Uh, but I'm ripping king ten or queen 10, queen jack suited, king 10, so king queen suited, ripping eights through jacks, fives and fours, Okay. ace queen off, ace king off, probably ripping ace three suited through ace five suited, ace six, of... seven, eight, or probably three bets. I don't have a whole lot of flats here. That's the problem. I think this is out of here, by the way. Versus plus one, but maybe I'm wrong. I want to see. I want to see if I'm too tight because I'm using king nine. I think this one pocket and jack nine might be out of there, and then all the other ones. But maybe I'm wrong. Feels like we got a lot of other stuff we can use. It feels uh, so like you're blocking, you're blocking folds with this. Still in there. It's it's calling though. Look how much call. Yeah, beats. Look how much calling we have here. Me and Toe were doing this spot what two weeks ago or something like that. I remember. It's like buck man. Yeah, sevens and sixes yeah, make sense. Threes and twos make sense. I'm so, uh, yeah, the same, yeah. I mean, it makes sense. The queen ten, queen jack suited. I would probably raise those more. I'm, I mean, I'm like ten nine suited. nine eight suited makes sense. Queen jack, king jack, king ten, okay. queen ten, uh, jack probably ten. Probably over three barrets. Ace jack off and he's ten off. Yeah. Ace jack suited. I probably three bet more. Yep. Um, avoid thank you bidding the UTG. <laughs> yeah, UTG open. I mean, you're still <laughs> able to b pip some of these nine x ten x series and stuff. So. Um, cool beats. Great yeah. job, buddy. Thank you, sir. Yep, appreciate that. Let's do uh one more person and then call it. I'm pretty. I'm getting pretty fucking tired. So who do we have? I think we got every. Uh -huh, uh uh Matt, come on, my ice. Come on. You've been here all day. Matt Carville, come on. Don't act like you're busy now. I know you usually work from home though, so I'm I'm teasing you. What? I heard my name. Yep. Give me five real quick. You ain't got to go all the way through. You can speed run. Oh shit. V pipping this. Uh no. Hell no. Mm, what's the bottom of your 10x uh, range you're gonna call? These are adjusted, right? This is just 50% of the fail, and it's symmetrical. 50% not shit. Oh, I'm only 10, 8, 10, 9. Feels too tight, but I think we got to get an error 10, 7 always for sure. At least complete. Yeah. 10, 6 is probably completing. Uh, I wonder if this is completing. He wants to fold. Probably mixes. Oh, it's in, in there. there. Yeah, 10, 6. It mixes. There's there. half a percent. Yep. Yeah, I'm a nit. Ripping man. nine to yeah, I'm a nit though. <laughs> Can't be scared. Look how we're still only folding like the super dog shit region. I'm surprised six four suit uh full uh six four office folding would probably be in there. Yeah. Uh, ha ha! I love when this spot. I love when this spot comes up. Three bet. Three betting. Is this? Are you three betting king ten suited? Probably. What's your? Do you have a flatting range in Peter Low Low Jack? I mean, probably. Yeah, I mean, this one's right in the middle. I'm flat and king queen suited. I'm flat. I'm probably fifty fifty on this. I don't know. King ten suited. I'm probably yeah. Okay. This is yeah. a cool one. King ten suited. Full frequency. Three betting and then the other one. Yeah, this one's right. I certainly would never. I, I don't like three betting ace jack from here. You just, it feels like I accomplished nothing like with ace jack and ace queen um, in this spot. Suit it. Ace 10. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, so why are you flat? This hands like ace queen and how come you flat those heads? Just wondering. 
Well, you're all well, your your range is but you having the queen and you don't make anything stronger folds. You block you make worse you block folds the top of his range, better. but you're yeah, not gonna call so. it four bed. That's a good point. So. Yeah, so when you use hands like ace nine as your three better, even like ace seven suited, the you're premise okay, is folding. when he's opening king 10 off, ace 10 off, king jacked off, and things like that, you can fold those portions of your range out, right? But when you have ace yeah. jack suited, you're not folding out king jack off. You're not folding out jack 10 uh, suited. You're not, you're, you're getting bet better to call and worse to fold. His range is too strong. And it plays pretty well when you keep in those worst jack x and queen x combos in his range. You keep in king queen off, right? Which is huge. You keep in queen jack off. You keep in queen jack, uh, queen 10 and stuff like that with ace queen. So. Thank you. No problem. All right, Beats. Take care, buddy. Enjoy lunch, man. Yep, later. Probably just call these nines. Blotting nines. Yep. Don't want to get, I mean, we're not three betting for value. Um, not necessarily set money, but you, yeah, we certainly can play it. But notice how we're folding uh, five, sixes, even sevens mixing. No, we don't set mine this nope. late Ace in the tournament. Off. Nope. Especially doing early raise. Do the eights or nines? We just saw this. I probably fold this. Suit at nines. This is in there. Holy fuck. Yeah. It's in there half the time. This yeah. mixes. Molten Ash, you got a good ass memory. Ugh. What does that mean? Yeah. I think this calls if I looked at the last one right. I spaz GM this half the time, but <laughs> uh, I, I know think four and five, four and five GM, and one and two just called, or two and three. Ace, I mean, just called. Believe a seven to a five, John. This mixes, but mostly three bets. Damn, I'm hearing everything. So Matt's calling. I think it's just called. But... I think there was, yeah, oh, I think okay. the last one there was a mix of three bets. The four or five jams, yeah. So it's mm -hmm. right. So these three bet. Okay. Yeah. I don't three bet these enough. I hate my suited aces. I just don't play them right ever. Dude, it puts like these low ones. Bet. These yeah, low ones I never bad. get right. Nah. I fold them anyway. So I never fold. I just overcall them too much. Yeah, you, or you, I just you. rip them like a big, yeah. make a big. Ew. Fold. Uh, that might be like bottom, bottom open, bottom open or fold. <laughs> Mix. <laughs> you lazy son of a bitch. <laughs> Probably <laughs> seventy thirty, <laughs> like seventy thirty open. Yeah. So open. okay. So this is one of like you would consider this the bottom, and it wouldn't be pure bottom. Okay. I pulled this hundred percent. Yeah. Okay. Beat. Yeah, King Jack, O, oh, bottom, Ace 10, O, oh, Ace 4. I opened, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, now I keep forgetting. Uh, ace 4 suited. It asked for the win. Yeah. Um, cool. Yeah, we'll end it there. Um, uh, yeah, that was a good ass session, though. What do you guys want to do next week? Next week is getting close to my last week. I do want to get in a hand history review so we can. Talk about some efficient ways to study. When we're going through a hand history, we can work on deconstructing uh, good ways, study habits, and what we should do in hand history reviews. So I do want to get that in, and maybe I think we just do that next week. How does that sound to you guys? You guys are my ultra regs. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, right. getting in, mixing it up a little bit with a hand history review. Like, what, is did, it what did you mean when you said it was your last week? No, I'm going. Uh, I'm gonna be traveling. I'm, I'm going okay. to play the Irish Poker Open uh, Yo, first yes. week uh, He's bust up. of April. He's yeah, bust bust up. Up. <laughs> uh, yeah, I busted my entire role. Like, I'm moving down to the free rolls. You know, uh, poker <laughs> next week is, is going to have me as a single pro. Yeah, they're going to hire me as their Zinga and free roll uh, <laughs> coach. <Zinga pro. laughs> Yeah, so I'm just gonna be <laughs> coaching free roll players. He's uh, he's abandoning us for a couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah. While I uh, go move to the homeless shelter and set up from there. Yeah, so. you guys are gonna be uh, stuck with me. Yeah, Apologies with in you. advance. <laughs> no, no, but uh, fear, be back. so when it, 
Yeah, yeah. I, I, how does that sound to you guys, though, on a serious note? Uh, a Next good... week, was it planning to do just a hand history review or how you would study and review your hands after playing? That's no, nah, it's going to be a hand history review while we okay. can get better as well. Talk about some actual in game thoughts, processes. So, what I want to challenge uh, the people who stuck here to the end, um, feel free, Jackson, Joey, Moulton. You guys be money and a setup. If you guys get deep in something and have a hand history that is can go into Poker Tracker 4, I want it to be a deep run and I would love to see you guys win something um, that we can review. But if it's a deep run, we get some ICM uh, situations to look at um, as well. That would be worth it as well. If I do something massive that is worth our time to look at, I'll just put my name in the hat as well if I think it's yeah. really good content. So, so uh, yeah, that goes go for you to, as well. I have to go back to Poker Stars for that. Yeah, so we're just going to keep it yeah, in this me group. Too. I'm sorry, that yeah, was for yeah. one of my industries as well, you said? No, well, no, just we're just going to try to find one in this group, maybe two. Um, okay. I always have something. And I just want it to be something that's deep. Maybe if we get a final table, that would be really nice. Uh, so we can start to kind of look at some of those situations. Um, but with that being said, um, anybody have any final thoughts, questions, uh, or anything like that? No, not really. <laughs> awesome. Uh, great. Uh, well, once again, thank you guys, uh, for showing up, spending time, um, helping me improve as well. If you guys enjoy this, uh, obviously I say, I'm going to say it every week. Let the team know uh, that you guys enjoy these study groups. It helps me and Toe out tremendously. We want to keep doing this indefinitely. We want to get on that banner one day, and um, it'll start with you guys as well. So um, I had a dream six is ban me for being toxic. Uh, yeah, it's a pre premonition is what we like to call those. Um, but yeah, uh, all right, guys, enjoy. Um, I'll, I'll be back. Whoever checks out the stream, I'll be on the stream streets tonight. Uh, grinding back but all right thank I'm you out. yep take care guys peace good luck